Hello, how are they? Hello, 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 hello. Let's start some DM. What's up? What's up guys? Hello, what's up? What are you now? Death match. Warm up. चश्मा भी आपको ज़्यादा ही गंदा था। चश्मा बहुत क्लीन दिख रहा है मेरे को भी। यो वेलकम टू स्ट्रीम ओ सर। Look for my shadows, they will hide you. Fight! ना हम ऐसे हैं। I will rip the light from them. पूछेगा किसी को। कोई क्यों ही आएगा भाई? Dominating.
Yo, go, go to the gate. Uh, oh, get that, Gambo. All the best for the watch. Yeah, I hope I have the energy today. कल तो बहुत नींद आई थी भाई मुझे याद ही था है एंड दिन में कहीं के थोड़े काम थोड़ा जल्दी उठा था आज थोड़ा लेट भी उठा और बता क्या हो रहा है सोए नहीं क्या Okay, do keep the gun. Ah, no, you have the gun. You can play in some games or in the games. And the Yatman does that, kill the up. Yeah, we can play some games or in the games. Well, enjoy this thing. I'll try to snipe it. Oh, why snipe gun? Oh? Ten kills remaining. ना लेना पड़ रहा कल पेपर है पढ़ो भाई तो फिर लोगों को क्यों क्यों पूछ रहे हो पेपर जो तो कौन सी टाइम लेता है Five kills remaining. के मैचेस होने वाले थे। वो कैप्टन साइड के सर्वर पे ज्वाइन कर लो। Still mission seriously for me to go.
फोन पे लगाना भूल क्या नहीं मैच फाउंड एक्सप्लेमेशन सीएस लेको मिल जाएगा हेलो गाइस माइक्स या 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 ब्रम ले सकता है क्या प्रियोट्री लाइक बाइंड पे तीन इफ यू कैन वरना चलेगा Another raise? Ha! I bet she's fun. I mean, I still kill her. Obviously. Yeah, same, same phone. Oh. Well, I'm gonna eat something today. Hello, so those now. Come on, bye. Not healed, 60 low. We're in a shower, 60. We're in a shower, 60 guys. Not healed. Spike down A. Someone is A. One enemy remaining. Shower, 60 low. Not healed. Healing now, Abey. Yeah. So no, Mila ke saath HP hai. Scanning ahead. So why is low side? Tripwire right? destroyed. Nice. Okay, they're dead. Take what's useful. Oh, why you low? Eh, baaki dono bande low eh. No need to peek. They're on the back foot. Let's deliver another blow. Okay, na, boy. Me bhi sir. Da ke kutta hai na, dekh le. Itna hi hai to dekho. Ah ha ha, ye cosmic. One point eight k seconds hello. Kitna hota hai wo? Five minute, I guess. The night police is here. <laughs> oh, thirty minutes. Into a. Hey, oh, that guy, no guy. Shot. Shot. The woman, that guy. Okay, okay. Woman, okay. Woman, by two rounds, okay.
आओ कि नहीं आओ नहीं नहीं भाई स्पाइक डाउन ए स्पाइक स्पॉटेड ए ओपन यहां पे खड़ा होकर मार रहा है यू ओनली स्पाइक कर रहा है गुड बाय हियर ओपन बॉक्स पे था वो बॉक्स पे आ गई थी पे डिसमिस नहीं हुआ पता नहीं कैसे वो ही डैश वन एनिमी रिमेनिंग आई एम टेकन ऑफ पे आर्टिकल ले लेना शरीर ले हां मैं रिफिल तोड़ता हूं राइट है साइफर हुक्का बाकी एक कार्ड लॉन्ग है ट्रिप वाइड डिस्ट्रॉयड ओमेन जा हुक्का तो फ्लैश। कोई नहीं ठीक है मैं ऑलरेडी हूँ क्रॉसिंग है मेरे पे क्रॉसिंग है ओमेन तेरे पे मे मतलब तेरा क्रॉसिंग है मेरे पे क्या क्रॉसिंग है नहीं 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 उसको दिया ना नहीं उसका सेवेंटी सेवेंटी बाइक डाउन है डोंट डोंट बी डोंट बी स्टिल इन साइट थर्टी सेकंड्स लेफ्ट सीटी आई कैन ब्लाइंड यू कैन बी डाउन है बाइक डाउन है स्टिल इन साइट रीलोड दोनों एल्बो One enemy remaining. Right, time near. Heal there. Ten seconds left. No healing area. There they are. Why? Well, well. Oh man, you lambs are in there. Khel raha hai. Wo crossingi, ye crossingi. Tu bahar nikal ke peek lega. Tu kaise dikhega mujhe ye? Like how can I see this? Idhar mara hai wo mujhe. Idhar mara hai. Ye to tu already bahar nikal ke khel raha hai. To ye kahan aaya? Tu mande ho gaya? Main kya pooch raha hu? Main kya pooch raha hu? Idhar mara hai. ये क्रॉसिंग है यार अरे ना ये देख रहा था ये, ये उनका लैंप घुसने का देख रहा था क्या ये क्रॉसिंग होता है क्या तू इवॉल के अंदर ही बैठा है ना तू बाहर निकल गया तू जा खेल रहा है उसके हिसाब से कॉल नहीं मैं इधर खेल रहा हूं ना तो इधर मार आके मेरे को या इस ठीक है राउंड के लिए 3 सेकंड बाय फक शॉट्स मल्टीपल हां सही डा कोयल ये देखिए Wow. I know exactly where you are. Shower, dekh toh. Me save kar le. Rotating to A now. Enemy spotted A. A or? I am sorry, I am sorry, I am sorry. Who's here? You are. You all in? You all in? You all dekh toh. अलग ही मार रहा है भाई ये बहुत अच्छा मार रहा है ये तो तो थोड़ा थोड़ा नहीं जा रही यार है ना भाई दो राउंड पहले एफ के तीसरा राउंड झगड़ना है चौथा राउंड आगे जाके आगाज कर दिया माइंड होने लग गया 
thrifty. क्या बोलूँ मैं कुछ बोलूँगा तो गुस्सा हो जाएगा जगह नहीं मिल जाएगा क्या करना भाई क्या सी मेरा है लास्ट राउंड का है देखो भाई तो दो निकाल के ये दो जन पे भाई नहीं ठीक है नेक्स्ट राउंड फुल भाई आपको किलर्स हेलो किलर्स लॉन्ग का कैम है क्या देखा पस लॉन्ग का कैम देना मैं क्लास करता नहीं नहीं दे रे सीधा तो ना यहाँ पे चढ़ सही पर मुलाटर डाल ले उसके बाद यहाँ पे ठीक ओके बट जो भी वो क्या है मैं अभी बाद में डाल ले आई विल फाइंड यू मिस कर साउंड इस शॉट क्या बोल रहा मुकी okay. इन नहीं हुआ है। The flash। Shock dart। यार आ गया हूँ but info नहीं दे रहा आपने। Short running। Deploying drone। Enemy mark। आंधो ये पे आंधो। Don't pick, don't pick, don't just pull। भाई ये। Spike down एक shot। तो हम भी पीछे से शॉट पाए मतलब है। एनिमी स्पॉटेड है। एजी टैंक का। 94 रोमन, 94 रोमन, वन शावर्स। साइफर शावर्स। टीपी मारू ये नहीं। रोमन वन एचपी मैंने बोल दिया था ये 90 दिया है। आ गया हूँ। टेकन आउट। लास्ट प्लेयर स्टैंडिंग। सोवा क्लोज हो। 30 सेकंड्स। लास्ट वन एचपी, वन एचपी। Nice round. I so what? Me, behind se wo gunfight liya bata. Me sida. My ultimate is ready. Smoke ma kya? Finally liya. I admit that was good. Finally liya, boy. Just smoke ma one tap kya? Indi. Indi chupna na. Hey, boy. Aaj kal pata nahi kya hoga. Log wo itne kyu jalte, boy? जाओ घर वालों को बोलो खाना दे दे तुम्हें तुम भी हो जाओ मोटे भाई क्या जाता है और लेता है क्या करना तेरे को बाहर डिलीट मत करवाए सीरा टाइम उड़ते हैं ऐसे चुके हो नहीं नहीं पीछे आ जाओ ओह नहीं आना ओल्ड नहीं पीछे आ जाओ ए शॉट ए शॉट रेना ए शॉट फोर्टी हिल पूछा है रा आज बहनी इस चार चार देख मैं क्लोज खेल रहा हूँ फिर बॉक्सी ऊपर देखेगा क्या मैं ये देखा नीचे अबे शावर्स क्यों छोड़ दो जन है साइफर और रोमन है शावर्स शावर पे देख रहा हूँ साइफर इस गन आल्ट क्या मैं एशियन मल्टीपल और नहीं दिख रहा कोई शावर आएगा मैं देख रहा हूँ रोमन टीपीड समझे साइड पे देखो। 
टावर दो है टावर पे लगा के तो मैंने दिया छोड़ो यार मुझे स्पैम में दिया मैंने इसलिए मुझे पता नहीं मैंने उसको सात गोलियां मारी है वन एच पी चल उसने छब्बीस से मुझे लगा चालीस एच पी बचा होगा अरे वन एच पी मैंने बोला वो ये चला रहा ना आउटलॉक हाँ तो ऐसा बोलना भाई हम चालीस एच पी समझे उसको वाह वाह मैंने तो सत्रह मारा था लॉल नोबडी लॉन्ग वी आर वॉकिंग डाउन गाइस वी आर वॉकिंग वॉकिंग डाउन ठीक ही माइट नॉट नो गोइंग बी गोइंग बी हैवी बी हैवी बी एक्जेक्टली वेयर यू आर जनरल पैथेटिक बी लॉन्ग मल्टीपल लॉन्ग लॉन्ग बी लॉन्ग हारिंग देयर विजन देयर राइट में अपसाउंड भाई कितने लोग नहीं 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 स्मोक कर रहा चार चार बी चार बी चार बी तीन आउटसाइड डोपा वन लॉन्ग आज आप सेफ करते हैं टीपी डन नॉन नॉट नॉट एल्बो नॉट एल्बो केयर 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 हेवन देख रेज हेवन केयरफुल टीपी नहीं है एल्बो नहीं है हेवन ही होगा हाँ ए कैन बी इन कैन बी इन कर ले पे स्पाइक का मौके सामने 30 seconds left because nice shot oh. oh. yes bhai mukul saath mein khelte minute ka bhai mauka nahi de rahe mereko peek karke maarne ke liye chal 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 
गोट इनफ टाइम इन अटैक निकालते एक दो राउंड रहते जज वेज लेके बैठ जा बिकिले ओवर ड्रॉप दे अच्छा इसको थैंक यू अगर मेरे को नहीं मिल रहा तो जज लेके वो कर लेना क्या बोलते हैं ये राउंड एक राउंड तू कर सकता है अल्ट मार चार्ज मार के शावर के कैमरे लगाओ आ रहे हैं मेरे से हो नहीं रहा ये माय कैमरा इज डिस्ट्रॉयड चल पीछे हुक्का भी है हुक्का इज शावर रेना हुक्का दोनों डेली हुक्का है शावर रह रहे हम लोग भी जा रहे तू डीप खेलने में ये देखते हैं यार मैं तोड़ता मैं तोड़ता हेडन किल नो वे हु रन यू आर प्रोबेबली अफ्रेड फेस हुक का रीलोडिंग वन फेस हुक का सो लॉन्ग बिहाइंड यू ओके सर शॉट्स आ रहा है ठीक है रेस पे नाइस स्पाइक डाउन स्पाइक 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 रुक 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 Thirty seconds left. City ni dekhna tha. I think I'm not going to do it. Might be safe. Saving or cycling? Yeah, saving. Ten seconds left. Do you want to dance? Ha! I'll. Yeah. Because you could. Hmm. शावस पिक लेता है क्या? रेज अल्टी मार के आएगी। आह सुन ना तो फिर शाव रेज में सा था शावस ही लेते हैं। वो मैं अगर वो अल्टीपेट करके आता है तो थोड़ा मैं दोनों तो पीछे खेल ले बाद में अल्ट को लेगा भाग जा। मैं वो कर रहा रिकॉर्ड मार रहा कर रहा शो गए शॉट ओमेन सब मार देना। कैट है ओमे� I am blinded. I am same. Oh, bye. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, it's a little, it's a little. Nice. 80 on Omen as well. 80 Omen as well. We're gonna be here. Right here. I expect it. Yeah, one day for me, Kelly dedicated all the stream. The audience will love it. Okay. We can. Do we need people to play now? So now, Omen is in the deagle, maximum half shield and 80 tagged. Do you have long? Yes, long. Do you have Omen's sound? Omen is in the deagle. Do you have long? 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 Spike down B. We got spike guys on B. Blinding. Spike spotted B. 30 seconds left. आपकी जब तक है यार दोबारा सिटी देखने चला लॉन्ग दे बूम जाम कर रहा था जो बार मशक्कल मार्शल है मार लो आये वो वो मैंने पीछे गया और फौज लेके आया साथ में भाई Last round in the half. Omen, I was so sure that I knew that I had tagged the woman. Do you want to do off? 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 Can somebody buy me this? So what do you want to do? Now, where to set up shop? Be fast care. ए शॉट एक है, ए शॉट ए शॉट एक है। तोड़ देते हैं भी। 
Thirteen on cipher, thirty-two on red. Trip wire destroyed. I can blind. Has a peak. Three, two, one. See nothing. Elbow is on the side. Akela, side. Akela. One twenty-five. One twenty-five. One twenty-five. Eight is you. Pistol, gun, pistol. One enemy remaining. Last attack is you. Guys, Rena. उसका अल्ट के वजह से उसका हाथ एकदम लाल लाल दिखा मुझे इसके हाथ दिख रहा है ए जंप जंप पे पहले ए ए चलते हैं इधर ही लगा ये सबसे बेस्ट है भाई ये वाली तरफ पेंसिस किने क्या किसी पे मेरे पास फाइट नहीं है ना थैंक्स पे आ जाओ आ जाओ ओके मैं नेट करूंगा वहां पे लेट्स गेट सेट अप यू आर ठीक है बस माइक खोल के के लिए आप बैक साइड रह लीजिए ओमेन है वहीं पे चलो वो स्कैनिंग अहेड व्हाट भाई भाई ओमेन टीगल खेल रहा बेंडी अरे नहीं स्पाइक डाउन ए मार सकते हैं लास्ट प्लेयर स्टैंडिंग दो ही वो दो ही वो भाई वो ओमेन कुछ भी दे रहा है अरे जोर में आई भाई बंदा स्मोक का है उनका स्मोक का है राउंड वन में डीगल खेल रहा होगा ऐसा ऑफ एंगल लेके बैठा नीड के बावजूद टैग करने लगा उसको डीगल लगता मार रहा है कैसे खेलता अंदर से पूरा फीट लेते हैं नहीं इतना नेड आया तो वो यहां से ऐसा एंगल लिया था केयरफुल हियर टेक एवरीथिंग एक बार भी स्पॉट बंदा पहले नीड भी वही फेंकने का ट्राई किया फिर से एक्चुअल सीधा जज मुंह पे आओ ये आओ मैं ड्रोन करता हूं गॉड को भी देखो आओ फिर रहना था लास्ट में लाइन नहीं यार टेक फ्लाइट Ending death. Out of charge. Last two. Last two. Okay. Eight to be guys. Don't shout. 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 ये ना हील हो चुका है वो गई तो अरे अरे कुछ बस ओवर हील था हील का तो लोग डॉग गार्ड चिल मार ओके शॉट शॉट यार 
यहाँ स्मोक आएगा सब साथ में का ड्रॉप बिना सोचे एक ब्लाइंड दूंगा टीपी करने पकड़ते सोवा को कैसे पता है इनको वाचिंग भी उतनी ज्यादा नहीं है इंडियन कलेक्टेबल ज़्यादा दिखे तो वी टीपी वी फॉल बैक नो नीड टू कम वी कॉन्ट देना वाला देर रिवीलिंग एरिया कैन तो देखा वी कैन टीपी गाइस माय ओल्ट इज रेड वेट वेट थोड़ा लो थोड़ा लो तो ये ना है यहाँ पे साइफर है और कोई टीपी किया था ना या ओमेन फिक्स टीपी एक टीपी रुक जा रही कौन मारू रिवीलिंग एरिया एक ब्लाइंड हर इंटरविशन क्यों फाइट ले रहे हो दोनों भाई दोनों 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 नाइस ब्लाइंड मैं सुबह पीछे आना यार मैं ते पीओवी में मुझे एक दिखा तुम फाइट लेने आए थे साथ हम खा गया यार मैं कोई ना अपना अपना खेलो थोड़ा डिफॉल्ट नहीं हो रहा है डिफॉल्ट ही खेलो दो लॉन्ग जाओ बी लॉन्ग जाओ बी पुश कर रहा है ट्राई कर पिक स्लो चार एंगल है पांच बंदे हैं ये क्लोज लेफ्ट हो सकता है सो ओके आई एम द हंटर रेन अटैक मैंने से हिट ऊपर रेना ऊपर कैम मेरे को वेट करो मेरे को वेट करो ये टावर यू वाले रेस फायर इन द होल एक ऑक्टा आर स्पाइक्स डाउन नेवर माइंड Spike down A. Last player standing. Shot down. One more. Three B. I have the spike. So what? Kela A. Baki three B. 
दो टीपी के थे। Thirty seconds left. Scanning ahead. A fine death. Ten seconds left. Give me a moment. I need to set back up. Take the run. Pass. Pass. We do it. Na, ekwa. Pass. We do it. Eco. No. Cipher. Ka camp long. Eco. 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 Have plan. Nikalte. Half by. Half by. Half by. Half by. अरे बी फास्ट हुक्का हुक्का ड्रॉप हुक्का ड्रॉप सेचल आउट कर बैक साइड में साइड जा चल चल एक है एक है एनिमी स्पॉसिड बी स्टीलिंग आई एम ब्लाइंड अरे तेरे आके ही आओ लैंड डाला उड़ आई थॉट डी मारते हैं लास्ट प्लेयर स्टैंडिंग One back. Empty. Rush will not be enough, boy. They are more good at killing. One, two, three. Ah, he is all done. Rush, 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 rush. Cipher, 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 cipher. Long, ah, uh, shower, jump. टावर्स बाकी सब लोग लॉन्ग हो वी टी पी बाइक अपने पास ही है तो सोवा को दे दे वी दिखाते हैं कि अपना लॉन्ग से पुश है लास्ट टाइम भी कोई पुश बाइक पर स्पॉट मत हो बस सेफ किल आई बाइक इसको ले पीछे ले बाइस कैंडिंग अहेड बाइक दे दे Drone. There. Main plane will be put in the back side. Come on. Oh man, back side. Do it, do it, do it. 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 Spike down again. Right here. Player standing. Give me a bandha blind. Give me a bandha. Five. Oh, up is blind. Who are those? Ah, fuck. करो ना भी तो मैं करता हूँ क्या? We win, we survive. Can't take two thirds, sir. Can be like him. I know exactly. Ah, perfect pick here, sir. I have the spike. Enemy down. It is. Cover going down. Keep. Last player standing. We trained के बदले जादू का ही कागा भाई.
Match point. I'll make them or the single round. There is a short time I do. Judge with lay, double satchel, chaos, and I'm going to go over. Could be by call the Jarat of Sick, could be got you. Turn around, oh yeah. Nine three, say, eight round me. This time, के बात करके खेलो मारो उसे Why aren't we teeping though? I पता नहीं अबे यहाँ पे और यहाँ पे दिखाए बंदे टीपी क्यों नहीं कर रहे? Defenders win. ये देख भाई पहले चार सेकंड में से रेज ने नेड पे कहा है ऑटो रोटेट चालू मुझे क्या मैं कहीं स्पॉट नहीं हुआ एक बार भी मैं स्पॉट नहीं हुआ एक बार भी स्पॉट नहीं हुआ एंड दे जस्ट अच्छा किल्स में मैं पैट हो गया टीपी के लिए आप एक वेट कर रहा था बाकी रोटेट करने चालू रोटेट राउंड स्टार्ट ये पेक लिया दूसरे रोटेशन ऑलरेडी आठ सेकंड ये देख भाई नॉट अ सिंगल प्लेयर ये टीपी बोली थी अगती है डैम ठीक मैं इन्ने बोला थोड़ा सोलो खेलते हैं पिक्स निकालते हैं अलग गया ये लोग पुश करती हैं स्टिल वन होल्डिंग वन बाकी सब ये क्या हाँ बैठा है क्योंकि we might TP चाव लॉन्ग ही तो तो है सब TP कर रहे हैं पर सही फायदे में जो हम लोग तो पता नहीं कौन सी godly विड्स थी वहीं की ये alt किया यार दो बंदे दिख गए हैं टीपी क्यों नहीं किया मुझे समझाने के लिए Match found. Hello, what's up, that match?
They have no idea how heartless I am. Ela pega de cima e Only shit is sci-fi flow. Keep a tight leash on all this for their sake. Opponent has a better comp. Rena ve classics dio. I don't know. Aye, itna ganda agent dekhe man nahi karta. Let. Hey, why you go sunset is? Hey. चिल करेंगे यार गेम मजे के लिए है मजे मजे में जीत जाता है बता सीरियस के लिए जीत नहीं नहीं ना बट डेडलॉक भाई एंगल देखना ही पड़ता है भाई हेलो किस बात का वो सेट है ना मजे अच्छे जे अच्छे अच्छे एजेंट लेके भी मजे कर सकते हैं भाई भी आ रहा है स्मोक कर दे भाई अब भाई यो इस ऑलरेडी लगता है Raise low, raise low, raise 120, close 30. Age are, age are, age are, double are, double are. One of them is a clue. One of them is a clue. There's one of them. Oh, look at that. My bad. Go see. You say something? Sorry. Ears still ringing. Good morning, bye. Good morning. Raise bhai, why are you on fire? Already disappointed. Raise bhai, I can't. 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 Raise bhai. Planted. Last player standing. Raise by hello. Raise by my bitanga of need gonna deliver it. See a life. I want their life, not yours. 
सेना भाई आपके पास सांता में कोई बढ़िया सा नीड अ ड्रॉप थैंक यू उन लोग पे एक वो है क्या रखना आउटलॉय उन पे एक दो मिड हो सकता है केयरफुल यही होगा ये हो गया ये हो गया ये हो रहा है ये हो रहा है 93 यार ए पे खेलो ना एक बंदा पांच को खेल दो साइफल डैमेज है वाचिंग स्मोक यहाँ पे लूस लूस एक कर लो आगे टाइम नहीं है सेवेंटी भाई एक बंदा यही था नहीं चल रहा भाई छोड़ो दे फॉरगेट देयर प्लेस देयर टाइम पे भी एनिमी स्पॉटेड मिड फादर चोद एक सौ चार खाया वो मुझसे तीस खाया था नहीं है कोई अभी तक तो रेज एक सौ चार है दोनों साइड है हील होगा नहीं अरे यार भाई कितना मारा आपने उसको को नहीं नहीं मार पाया वो ट्रेड हुआ वी नीड टू कीप समथिंग और वो लोग सीधा पॉप कर रहे हैं उनके पास फ्लैशेस दो है और ये जो उस पे सेटल कर रहा था साथ में ये क्या भाई अगर आप पीक कर लेते तो वो मर जाता भाई पीक कर रहा था मैंने माय गॉड एक्सपी तू है क्या हां भाई और सॉरी कौन बैल्कन अच्छा स्मोक दे रहा हूं रेज सीम नहीं कर रहा क्या लाइव आई हैव गॉट योर ट्रायल 95 इसलिए रेड लॉक बेकार है भाई अपने ट्रिप पे ही फंस जाता है मारा मैंने इसको बिठा के घुटनों को भाई ट्रिप में फंस के मजा नहीं आता घुटनों को बिठा के ब्लो दो दो बिल्कुल भाई तो रियल लाइफ में दो ना गेम में क्या है हां मैंने कैम क्यों तोड़ा टीम ए रेस कॉल देके खेलने में अल्ट वगैरह कर देता निकल जाता दिस सिंफनी ऑफ देव ये मिड फाइट ही मत ना भाई क्या फर्क पड़ेगा मिड छोड़ देगा तो इनसे पूछो भाई मैं तो ये देख रहा हूं पिछले 3 राउंड में हम तीनों हमारी हमारी टीम में कोई ना कोई तुम्हारे ही मरेंगे
Tá aqui é meio. Smogueirão. Oh yeah, monster on the loose. Pull them to their grave. Mudi Last player standing. One enemy remaining. Spike planted. Double. Still in sight. Oh, it's not easy. Activate on the. I'm going to go deep. 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 चल गए भाई बैरियर डिप्लॉयड नो स्केप गॉट स्काई एक और स्मोक देने आ रहा हूं स्मोक देने आ रहा हूं एनिमी स्पॉटेड बी सर्कल अप One 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 Trying, trying. Defense, I don't know. But if it's an attack, I'll get out of it. I'll get out of it. Enemy spotted A. Enemy Do B pe ek ad. B pe do guys. Gecko or some cipher or ek. Sky is. Guys, bande bande. Ya pe tum log A pe. One forty. Chill 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 chill. Bekar smoke. Spike planted. Ari utle le. Thoda chill. Nice. Alti le. Sabe sabe. Tino hai. Tino hai. Tino hai. Alti le ra. Ruk ja. Raise. Ruk ja. Ruk ja. Ruk ja. On my way. Saw you, little homie. Pakad liya mano. उसी को क्यों पकड़ लिया? क्या? लास्ट मेन अकेला। नाइस। दोनों ही। लास्ट प्लेयर। कहाँ पे हैं? बता। मेरे को लगा लेफ्ट में है यार मैं उसके आई बट वो अल्टीमेट। आई तो दो ये भी है ना हम लोग दोनों ही पड़े हुए हो। अच्छा। मेरे को नहीं पता तो उसका। रेस भाई बट क्या यार भाई हद हो यार। और तू देख के थोड़ा लड़का वो डिटेन्ड बंदे को ही तूने उठा लिया अल्ट पे वही वही भाई आह साला फ्राइंट टाइम नहीं होती तो इस मज़े क्या होता हिंडी साला और मैं हाँ पता अकेला क्यों खेल रहा है मैं पता नहीं तू पता नहीं चार बंदे वहाँ ऐसे क्या बोलूँ मैं और पता मैं मिड पे खेल रहा हूँ ये मैं ह Smoke there, no? Sensor drift. Kill them first. Hey, nice. Nice, Ray. Spike spotted. A. Spike leg, get him. No. Target spotted. A. Not yet. Then you're here, brother. Both. Both low. Both low. I know exactly. Cipher heal will be there, but Cipher 120. 
निकलो तुम चारों स्पॉट हुए आ गया क्लो आ गया मैंने भी दिया फोर्टी स्काई हाफ एच पी वो यहाँ पुश किया है मार्केट एक नीचे बैठा है क्राउच करके चार बंदों को खेलना पड़ रहा है भाई सेंटिनल के साइड पे चार बंदे खेल रहे हैं कैसे चलेगा नहीं चलेगा हार गए मिड बहुत बढ़िया नाइस भाई क्यों इस भाई भाई इसने जाम क्यों फेंका यार पता है पता है दिखाओ अरे अब इसने जाम के फेंक बहुत बढ़िया बेटर तो 30 सेकंड्स लेफ्ट 75 मार रहा है मैंने भाई वो तू फेंका वोल्टा टर्न हो गया उसकी छाती पे पड़ा ग्रेड के बदले पता नहीं क्या भूल रहे हैं बंदा फिर हंसता रहेगा सारा टाइम देखो ये वाला फ्लैश करना यहाँ से सीधा ऊपर मीटर क्लोज किया तूने? नहीं ये पूरा खाली है ना सारे बीपी जो है मैं लेता क्या को Last round before the switch. Half time. Don't say a thing. Actually, I'm a serious. Mujhe ab dena. Main jab lunga tab bye dena. Abhi mat de, main usko bye deta. Bye kar yaar tum. Ye de meko. Need a drop. Double up. मैं 
I know exactly. उसका हेल्प किया डेड लॉक को यहाँ पे रिजल्ट वहाँ पे तो जो जिंदा जगह वो रिस तेरे पीछे रिस बैंड यू एक मेन एक मेन रिस तेरे पीछे Thank you for subscribing. Thrash is ready. She's going again. Defuse kar le. Bas ho gaya. What? Bhai yaar maarna tha ja ke. Kya kar rahe ho? Ja ke maar raha tha usse. Kitni der shootna hoti hai alt. आठ सेकंड आठ सेकंड बोल रहा हूँ कि आपने अल्ट करे पीछे देख पीछे देख मेरा भाई देखता ही नहीं है अबे आठ सेकंड का डिटेन होता है ना अबे आठ सेकंड का डिटेन होता है बे भाई नहीं होना डिफेंस में क्या कर सकता हूँ आठ सेकंड का डिटेन कैसे हो सकता है डिटेन आठ सेकंड का ही होता है क्या बोल रहा है � डीटेन अगर आठ सेकंड का फिर डिफ्यूज क्यों हुआ? ये वहाँ से वहाँ तक पहुँचा भी तो 0.16 पे हुआ ना एक सेकंड भी थोड़ी ना बचा। इसको भी तो वहाँ से वहाँ तक भागना पड़ा ना स्पाइक तक। अल्ट से हटा, एनिमेशन से हटा। समझे क्या बोल रहा हूँ? अच्छा 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 अच्छा। ये बच्चा बचा के नेट डाल दे भाई ट्रप है साचल डाल दे कुछ तो डाल दे राइट साइड स्काई सिक्सटी डाल गया स्काई बैक साइड सिक्सटी डाल गया स्पाइक डाउन बी स्काई साइड सिक्सटी डाल गया सिक्सटी डाल मैं क्या करूँ भाई वो स्पाइक ही नहीं दे रहा हूँ मुझे साथ पे तो आ जाओ उसने म्यूट कर रखा भाई साथ आ जाएगा। ब्रो लास्ट सिक्सटी टैग है। नाइस। वाह गांड फड़े हो भाई। वाव। Bro, you don't have to take a spike in the starting, then you'll have to ask him, then you'll have to raise the mic. I don't know what to do, bro. Bro, what are you doing solo? Yes. Where are the people? They're all six people, so I'm late. Okay, okay. स्मोक सेडी कर रहा हूँ। तू बोल लेट डाले पुल। अपना पिकाचू तो डाले। छोट छोट। री स्मोकिंग। बहुत तीन चार बाक्स है तीन चार बाक्स है। मैं आल्ट कर दूँ। लो है, ये को भी लो है। वही वही पी है, वही पी है। वाह, ये ब्रेम तो। वॉल तो थी भाई। वॉल तो थी। वॉल तो थी भाई। खुद 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 पीछे देखना पड़ता है बंदे को भाई। एक बंदा, एक बंदा वही फ्लैंग देखने में भी जाम है। मेरे भाई वो वॉल का चौथा टाइम भी नहीं आया गेम में। बोल तो हो क्यों तेरा एजेंट है भाई ते को तेरे ओड़ी ना बोले मैंने बता एजेंट क्यों क्या है भाई नीचे से वाद नहीं आ रही एजेंट तो भाई एम में तो तेरे पास क्या ही नहीं रे एम भी तो तेरा सही है लेकिन एजेंट क्यों दिया है एम फैन एजेंट है भाई तेरा मैंने इतनी बार बिठा बिठा के मारा मजे आए सेटिस्फेक्शन मि� बाबा भाई। भाई क्रॉस तो करूँगा ना, बेड तो करोगी ना। भाई स्मोक करियो। वाव। वाह ये भाई वाह। अच्छा गेम तो बहुत। Oh 
healing site. I have this bike. Target spotted mid. Last player standing. How many people are 120? तुझे पता है ना अगर तू यहाँ पे तो यू घूम के भी आ सकता है। My bad, my bad। Raise भाई आपका माइक आ रहा है, जा रहा है, क्या कर रहे हो? मतलब मेरे को पता है एक एक ब्लैक है, असली में भी ब्लैक हो गया। Yes। दी ना, फेक दी ना। देव एंटर लेक्शन के में सर, क्या जा रहा है? आता मैं घूम के आता लेव। और मैं ले मुझे अरे ऊपर तीन प्लास हैं यार। भाई इसका अल्ट भाई वो रेल स्मोक के अंदर है जज लिख के भाई। उम्र करो ना रेल भाई। No more doubts, we're ready. फाइन पकोड़ा मिया भाई। अरे थोड़ा पिक के लिए इंटर बहुत हो गया भेजा था क्या मैं करेगा नहीं भेजा रीलोडिंग रेस के को ए गाइस वी डोंट नीड टू गो तो जाना पड़ेगा। काय मेड डॉग। काय है, गेको है, रेज है, पीछे आ जाओ यार। भी चल लो। आजा पीछे आजा। भाई रेस किया। भागो भागो भागो। अबे साले साइफर की साइड पे भक्ता कौन है? अबे यहाँ नहीं थी मैं देखा कैम देखा उसका पता है कहाँ से भूल कर के कहाँ से आ रहा है? हो गया मेरा भाई मेरा माइंड पे हो चुका है ऑलरेडी कहाँ पे राइट पे था लेफ्ट पे था ये नहीं पता चेंज कर सकता पोजीशन वो ब्रो चक्क थोड़ा घुमाएगा फिर भी मेरा माइंड पे हो चुका है ये ले भाई बीस रे एक सौ बीस बोल 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 बैठ चुके हैं बंदे भी नहीं मर रहे भाई आये तुमसे तो खड़े होके भी नहीं मारे जा रहे पास मार्केट लो हेलो हेलो स्पाइड हुआ कुछ नहीं Let's see how it goes. Let's go. Down. No surprise. Oh yeah! Master on the move! Last 
player standing. That's one enemy remaining. I know how to fend for myself. Ooh, I'm good. Aim here, right? Like, agent. मैं हार गया मैं मैं माइंड पर हो जाके आया ना एक बार माइंड पर हो जाता है तो उसका नहीं लगता भी होता है भाई मेरा भी हो जाता है जानता हूँ मैं फीलिंग जानता हूँ भाई मैं हेलो व्हाट्स अप स्पाइक हाउ यू आ जाए आज स्पाइक स्पाइक से ला रहा था कुछ मिड पे जाके पास बी पास बी पास साथ में हेलो चाचल डाल डाल रहा तोड़ने के लिए वेट कह गया थक गया भाई ओहो ये स्ट्रीम कर रहा है ये बहन का लाइन स्ट्रीम करेगा चलो भाई ऐसे बिना माइक के स्ट्रीमर्स क्यों है भाई पता नहीं भाई स्ट्रीम पे ही बात कर रहा होगा ना इसलिए गेम पे कुछ नहीं बोल रहा अब तो भाई गेम पे भी ध्यान दे देना चूतिया बाकी होगा गेम का पीसी ऑफ करके पीसी ऑफ करके खेल रहा है चूतिया कितना टाइम हो गया बाकी होगा गेम चल तू खेल ब्रो चल पा मैं बाकी होगा गेम का हाथ करो चूतिया एक सेकंड हेलो क्या कर रहे हो और बस भाई बस ठीक हो भाई एक चूतिया स्ट्रीमर आया था भाई स्ट्री लाइव हो के बंदा इन गेम माइक नहीं खोल रहा भाई वाओ हम्म भाई ए पमल खेलना है क्या खेल सकते प्लीज खेल सकते हैं खेल लेते हैं वॉच पार्टी तक खेल लेते हैं तुम लोग के गेम के बाद खेलना है ओके करवा दूंगा Let's go for more. Uh, so now, back to the key. Let's put it on download. Pe. No, I'm not buying. ये लगा पीछे एक घंटा एक घंटा खेलते तब तक आओ गेम का इसे इनका गेम देखो तुम तुम्हारा गेम स्ट्रीम कर रहा मैं तब तक
Ronaldo. साइड से आता पुलर करके बेचारा वो भी ग्लिच्ड है भाई पुलर भी है भी ग्लिच्ड है भाई ऐसा मत बोलो टच कर दे हेलो बस किधर है एएफके तो नहीं भाई उसको भी लेंगे खेलने के लिए अपन तीन बस आया चार वो नीचे भाग रहा है एक बंदा है कहां ऋषि हेलो एक शॉट ना ये ऑलरेडी बंद कर दिया है गेम मैंने ऋषि बंदे को रिपोर्ट करो वॉइस कॉम सब यूज के लिए रेस किया मैंने सेम मोटर 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 गाली का लो सॉरी ना रॉक पे मोटर कौन सी यूज नहीं करेगा वो सेबोटाजिंग मैं तो भी आ सकता यार शूट कर रहा है क्या नहीं है उतना सेबोटाजिंग है सब भी बट स्टिल नहीं कोई और शूट कर रहा है हां उसको कोई और मार रहा है गेम बंद कर चुका है इफ यू वांट टू प्ले पमल यू कैन प्ले ओके ओके बट वीसी वीसी ए पीछे भी ए मुझे मार रहा है पीछे से या पहले आज के लिए यू कैन यू नो जस्ट वॉच इट स्टफ एंड बाद में यू कैन समवेयर अराउंड देयर वो रहा ओपन ओपन में ये रहा बुलेट ड्रॉप नहीं है बिहाइंड द ट्री सिक्स पीपल अभी भी उधर ही मुसीन है उस पे पत्थर वाला मार दिया नॉइस शॉट पत्थर वाला बंदा मार दिया मैंने टैप टैप कौन कर रहा है मर गया मर गया टैप टैप कौन कर रहा था ये अभी मर गया मर गया वो भी मर गया अबे बुलेट ड्रॉप्स नहीं है है ना लेकिन ओम पे थोड़ा कम है बुलेट ड्रॉप ऑफर बुलेट ड्रॉप है इससे पहले वाला बंदा जो मैंने उधर मारा था वो शॉट बॉडी लगा जो ये रॉक वाला बोल रहा है ए सामने 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 ऑन द रॉक ऑन द रॉक ओके पीकिंग पीकिंग मेरे पास आजा मैं जोन में हूं तो जोन में नहीं है जोन चालू है आ रहा हूं आ रहा हूं अरे यार मैंने वन बिहाइंड अस आई गेस तो एम टू पर चला रहा पीछे से चला ऑन द रॉक देयर जोन गेस वन बी वन मोस्टली नहीं 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 टू बी वन बी वन है तो मैं वो पत्थर वाले को देख रहा हूं ये रिच पे m24 डाउन डाउन m24 डाउन m24 डाउन लास्ट का नाइस शॉट नाइस शॉट हीलिंग हीलिंग तो ना येलो मार्कर मारा है रिच 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 ऑरेंज आप वाला जिंदा है बेबी मेरा वाला जिंदा है ओके डेड बीस की वॉच इन चैट पे फक भाई हाउ विल द पीपल गो टू नाइस स्नाइपर तो हूं मैं दोनों ही स्नाइप कर रहे थे आज तुम्हें भेजा है देखो बस को इंचे का बताता हूं मैं कर पिक कर पट्टू मैं नहीं करूं अच्छा इधर तो ए तुम को इंचे का हो आई इन सब ने काय किया काय भाई तुम लोग म्यूटेड हो <laughs> शहर में आई है थोड़ी हेलो हेलो बस भाई देख देख क्या मेरा पे है क्या निकला क्या निकला क्या निकला खोलो 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 ड्रैगन ओ मिल गई यार ओ हमेशा के लिए मिल गई क्या हमेशा के लिए हेलो हमेशा के लिए मिल गई हेलो हां हां टाइम नहीं है आई गोल्डन है गोल्डन में थोड़ी ना टाइम होगी बे नहीं आती है ना इसमें स्पेशल नहीं है इतनी हट है टाइमर वाली तो नहीं है ना समीर भाई हेलो देखते हैं इसके ऑर्ड्स क्या है
नहीं है टाइम है भाई टाइम है नहीं है परमानेंट है लगी हुई है बट लॉकड है टीडीएम के लिए शायद हाँ होता है नहीं उसके लिए जो बोला ना मटेरियल्स टाइप लगता है जैसे बीजेम आई में वैसा हाँ स्कैमेटिक और ये ए तुम करो ए बस फॉर्मला थोड़े देर आ एक घंटा आधा घंटा एक दो गेम आधा घंटा आना बस अरे अभी वॉच पार्टी है तब तो एक घंटा कुछ है ही नहीं मेरे पास पढ़ने के लिए एम वी का अरे तू नहीं करेगा बस बैठे हुए अरे तो मैं तो ले लू बट ये लोग लेंगे नहीं ना मैं भी मैं मैं लेने के लिए रेडी हूँ देखो मैं लेने के लिए रेडी हूँ बट ये लोग भी तो लेनी चाहिए ना ऐसा मैं इसलिए बोल रहा है ये लोग आए समीर भाई तब तक ही करो स्क्रीन शेयर करो यार साथ में खेल नहीं सकते स्टीम से मैं भी ले लू बट ये लोग खेल नहीं हुए ये लोग ले नहीं हुए क्रॉस कनेक्शन में कैसे खेलेंगे फिर टाइम पास स्क्रिबल करना है क्या ये बताओ सर आए मतलब वो वाला मिशन कंप्लीट होगा तो उसका सौ हो जाएगा बेसिकली भी अबे यार क्या है तुम लोग नहीं है तब भी थोड़ा डिसेंट है शायद
proof. चलो खेलो फिर आता मैं बाद में कोई है ही नहीं आया खेलने के लिए आज टूथलेस जा रहा जा आएगा क्या करेगा इस एक और गेम खेल ले क्या खेल ले क्या कोई है चैट में चैट में कोई है भी नहीं व्हाट शुड वी डू वन टिल देन घूम फिर के बालों में आना पड़ेगा तो फिर देखते हैं हेलो हाँ बट तुम लोग म्यूटेड हो क्या हुआ ऑपोनेंट में आए थे क्या देखो इसकी स्क्रीन पिंचे दे देखो एपेक्स खेलेगा हाँ नहीं अभी वॉच पार्टी है उससे पहले ओके अगर कॉम्पी लंबा लंबा चले जाएगा तो बीटी होगी इसलिए खेलोगे एपेक्स आ जाओ थोड़े एक एक घंटे के लिए आ जाओ एक घंटे चालीस मिनट के लिए चालीस मिनट रे हो जाएगा ये चालीस मिनट में क्या था बोलो तुम्हें तुम्हारा मतलब ऐसा ठीक है वो नहीं एक टू पॉइंट फाइव में चैलेंज स्ट्रीम करने वाला जिससे मुझे वीडियो बनाना है आओ भाई आ जाओ ना टाइम पास कर लेना वालों का टाइम पास है आ जाओ ना दिन के टाइम ही होगा शाम के टाइम अबे एक घंटा भी क्या कर लू मैं घंटा ला रहा देखो कोई ना ऑल गाइज ही लगा लेते हैं चलो खेलो फिर बाबा अलग काम करो भाई बाबा आज के दिन खुलेगा ये
मुझे ले लिया वो आ गया चलो के खेलेंगे गाइस Yes. Yes, आवाज आई क्या गेम की नहीं आई क्या आएगी और कुछ चल गेम था ही नहीं मैं तो मैं मैं थोड़ा डाउनलोड किए थे ओ मैं स्टीम चेक कर जाता मैंने एपिक पर डाउनलोड किए हुए थे अब छोड़ो अब आ गया मुझे मैं अपने गेम नेट जैसे नहीं खेल सकते ये क्योंकि यहाँ पे अपने जितने सब गंदे नहीं है यहाँ पे अच्छे प्लेयर्स भी होंगे भाई यहाँ पे थोड़ा अच्छा खेलना पड़ेगा और फुल पक्चुअली में ये क्या है भाई तो बेचारा कड़ी नहीं पा यहाँ से ही नहीं आगे जा पा रहा क्या अकेला बंदा है जो गेम में या तो क्वालिफाई हो चुके हैं या तो छोड़ चुके हैं ऑलरेडी गेम
a bit. the fuck? No. Yeah, okay, I got it. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I'm going to go to the I could not die for a year. I left for last time, no. What could I get for the cup? Could I have Sometimes you don't like it to buy.
What the hell is this? Yeah, I don't think it's
Oh, well, the queen, I guess, cool. A big cap. He's good, child, I guess, it would be. It's not a gas car, are you? Why, Lily? Why are you going to wait to do it? Let's get charger lane in Yonga, you give me a bad charger lake, party lake Yonga, other tuck. It's a very easy and hard one to find the ground. It's a little over the side. I'm just as it as it is a moment. I can't look from the other one. You're dead. So hard to buy. So we need to buy high and high.
रेडी कट वो चार्जर नहीं लाया रेडी कट रेडी कट कोई खेल नहीं रहे ये वाला ज़्यादा ज़्यादा टाइम लग रहा है तो हो गया फर्स्ट अभी आई है मैं सेकंड पे शायद ओह अबे अब नहीं होगा उससे आगे कोई आ गया अभी भी है नहीं थर्ड वो गिरता नहीं रहा तो सेकंड पे कि अब मैं तेज ऑलमोस्ट तेज साथ ही हो जाता मैं राइनो से गलती से एक बार जल गया राइनो राइनो थोड़ा बेटी देता है ना द थिंग इज मैं ध्यान नहीं दे कि सेंटर में मूव ही नहीं कर पाऊंगा मैं वो हवा की वजह से तो राइनो आके उड़ा के गया क्या कर रहे हैं? ये वाला तो ही है। 
कितना ट्राई ऐड किया है तू अरे ये वन ऑफ द ओजी मैप्स था भाई मुझे मुझे पता ही नहीं मैं मैप्स नहीं पता भाई मैं तो बाय था ना मैंने पेड में लिया था मैं, मैंने मैंने भी एक गेम पेड में मुझे अवश्य दोस्तों ने खरीदवाया और मैंने से एक बार खेला था उसी दिन अबे अबे नहीं अबे नहीं 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 फर्स्ट फर्स्ट मेरे सामने कोई खड़ा है बस ट्रॉफी लाइन पे बट वो मुझे पकड़ लिया और मैं फर्स्ट हो जाऊंगा नीचे जाके ब्लॉक कर रहा लोगों को मजा आएगा <laughs> गिर गया हाय 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 अगर ये नहीं हो 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 जाएगा बहुत मजा आएगा हो जाएगा दस सेकेंड है अब यार ये बक्चो नहीं हो ये फाइनल राउंड लास्ट राउंड में इतने लोग आ गए जो जो बचा है नहीं जो जो बचा है सबको बिना दे दे तो ऐसा भी नहीं है कि चाबी टच करना पड़ रहा है यही तो नहीं खेलना था मुझे अटैक से कौन पकड़ो भाई भाई ये लोग सब तोड़े में पे ही तुले भाई देख सेकंड अंदर आएंगे सब के सब जीत जाएंगे भाई उतने टाइम जाए कि सब सब जीत सकते हैं ले ले भाई लेट्स गो इसमें ऐसे जीत के क्या मजा है भाई बस लोगों के साथ जीत के हां तो सोलो से लगाओ ना सोलो जी है अरे चिल चिल में मतलब सब जीत सकता हूं सिर्फ सोलो से ट्राई करके देखो सिर्फ सोलो से नहीं खेल सकते ना तो है अभी सोलो शफल ये क्या सोलो शफल सोलो तो है कंप्लीट में अच्छा शायद कोई खेल नहीं रहा कर दिया कर दिया अभी एक लास्ट ही हो पाएगा साथ में बचा एक 
सेंटीमीटर हो गया चालू हो गया किसका है मैच आज आज क्रू वर्सेस एमआईबीआर और एनर्जी वर्सेस फ्यूरियम दूसरा ही लगा लो कोई नहीं करना शायद क्यों यार अरे मैं थोड़ा सा टाइम ही बोल लेंगे सब गैस को तू उसने सबसे आगे चलते हुए लेट्स गो क्या इमोट है भाई इस पे भाई वो हुआ कि नहीं हुआ हुआ वो शायद डोल ना आजे हाँ हुआ मेरे जस्ट ऊपर देख तेरे टॉप लेफ्ट में डोल ना आजे भाई ऐसा गिफ्ट पढ़ के इमोट दे जाता हूँ ये क्या है भाई व्हाट लुक एट द मैप स्क्रीन मैन प्रेसिंग द बटन ये ये नीचे के बटन चाहिए बेसिकली लोगों का पीछा करो भाई इस पर अबे इसे धक्का खाया भाई अबे भाई एस्ट्रोइड आ गया भाई ज़्यादा पीछे छोड़ गया ना तो बुरी हो जाएगी इसमें ये 
Come here. Let's go. Bye. पहली बार ये मैप में क्वालिफाई होगा। नहीं, तो थिंक ये अच्छे बंदे खेले तो हो जाते हैं ना उनके साथ साथ चलो बस। भाई बीच में ग्रेड पे करने लगे थे अंकित चाता और मोस्ट। नहीं बट ठीक है जिस में जॉन से टाइल पहुंच गया एक बार तो वहीं पे स्पॉन होंगे वो एक अच्छा था अगर याद रखना पड़ता ना पूरा तो तो जी जी था कोई नहीं पाते कभी अरे यही तो खेल रहे थे आप देखा मैंने उसमें तो बेकार बंदे थे हो गया था आसानी से आसपास आसपास आ जाए पहला वाला ही कार्ड अच्छा होता है तो अच्छा ओके मतलब भागो 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 नहीं नहीं मैं यार नहीं लेगा हाँ हाँ अबे नहीं 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 कोई तो अटका है मेरे को। तू आसपास मत खेलना, वरना लाइक बेसिकली दोनों अपन दोनों ही झगड़ रहे होंगे एक ही पॉइंट के लिए। अबे पास में इतना? बट ठीक है मैं जा। चाहिए हाँ तो अबे नहीं तो भाई ये सब भाई मैं इतने इतने सारे मैं आपको के सामने जाते हैं ना भाई तीन हो गए तेरे कितने हुए तीन हाँ तीन 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 स्लॉट बचे हैं और मुझे भाई खत्म। Bro, I'm तू भी वो डिस्कल भाई? Yeah। चलो मैं कर देता हूँ। मुझे एक चाहिए तो सर। कोई ना। It's time for some watch parties. भाई आज कितना खाली खाली है बुरा लगा भाई बाकी टीम्स के लिए Maybe I'll see you in the end.
क्या हुआ so far but again there's a lot to there's a lot to be excited about on the other side of the stage today and i think we can talk about heat we can talk about kesnit uh and they're both insane in their own rights or even better together but that's a formidable foe on the other side yeah going off what you said um like i feel like duelist players you know people think of like peanut brain like all aim you know For that's sure. how it's considered but honestly like in my experience some of the duelist players i played with are some of the smartest players like that's I've a good point. in general like um, yeah. them being able to flex is is fully capable within their reach uh they just you know they're they're good at their mechanics they're, they they want to take the engagements and they could definitely fill in these other roles it's just you know what's optimal for them yeah yeah and what has become optimal for heat is to really become that role player for this team wyatt but as you had mentioned before i mean he's still doing you know heat things right he's still taking space still trying to get aggressive that is going to be a big part of Cruz winning strategy here against MIBR. For sure, and we're about to see with the agent select here. I did think I saw a bit of a spoiler, which is that we are gonna get the Reina <laughs> oh, look at again. You. And yeah, there it is. There, there it is on the Kesnit PC flyby. So listen, we'll see what they have to offer with it this time. I wasn't blown away by it, but I saw what they were going for. Perhaps it'll just work better the second time around. You know, not a lot of opportunities to make everything work in, in every single map. Yeah. So we shall see. Maybe this week it'll go a bit better. Yeah, it's true. They what they what they lose? 13, 11, something yeah, like 13, that. 11. It was close. And Kesnit, I don't think, went like 24 and 17 or 16 or something like that. So it was fruit Fury popped off a little yeah, bit in that yeah. game, and like to, to to bring it home for sure. Yeah, yeah. And it, it, it's not like he played poorly. So I, again, do I do I love the pick? No. Would I rather see him on Jet or something like that in this role? Yes. You already have flashes with Gekka. You have flashes with Ko as well. I mean, I, I guess I understand the additional pressure of having the Lear as the third, but. I, I think there's good reason for them to stick with it. It's not like it was a disaster the first time we saw this uh, comp run. Yeah, like, I, I think that that goes uh, that, that goes without saying that there is not a lot of time left for you to try and like work this out, Shazam. So you kind of got to stick to your guns at this point here. But what should people be looking out for with the differences in how MIBR are going to approach, like let's say their attack versus how crew would be approaching it with the change of having Jet and Reyna, you know, respectively? Yeah, I think um, MIBR, it's going to be a lot more set up and disciplined as a, as a group going in and coming to a site um, with, with crew they, they're setting up the reina to get aggressive to get those early kills um and i'm i'm a really big fan of the gecko on the map yeah uh i i think gecko gets a ton of value every time i watch a team run run him on icebox uh you know planning the spike yeah planning the spike on this map is not a fun thing you know <laughs> as Trout knows so <laughs> wingman comes up huge yeah, Wingman's going to be playing a big role into this one. All right, folks, it's time to throw it over to your casters. And even though all of their hip Zoomer talk confuses and scares me, thankfully we got them on the call. It's Mimi and Ender. <laughs> you don't have to.
be afraid. I, I don't even have TikTok installed well, yeah, on my phone. I feel like we don't actually do that that much. I'm not relatable. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get into this game, though. We got MIBR versus crew. MIBR making their debut here in stage one, the same roster that we saw in kickoff that was so much improved from the 23 season. Yeah, of course they ended up falling out on that super, you know, tiebreaker day uh, against uh, the likes of Sentinels, G2, couldn't quite make it over the finish line, but this is their first chance to play against a crew. They're coming off of their first win in uh, what maybe in kickoff you wouldn't have said would be the most exciting matchup, but I think this is a very good litmus test for the strength of these two teams. I think it's a big comparison to, to last year that it's MIBR crew. And I'm excited. Yeah, it's going to be absolutely. a good game, right? Like, these are two of our bottom teams last year. But I think both of them have had a big step up. The question is, who can take it home today? Icebox, where we start. Cruz headed towards that. That they are. Actually, five players already committed. And it's Mazine playing a little aggressive here on the Viper up on pipes. No real control anywhere else on the map. There's very forward harbor wall of the likes to threaten some space in mid from MIBR. But crew are not wasting any time on their head. Or and Kesnet. To get things started early, JZZ is down. Already damage on these players' backside, but they're gonna try and fight only two, and he destroys him against his former team. He starts things off swinging. Not a bad way to kick things off. Three kills just right out of the gate. RGL doing his best to fish for a little something over on Rafter, but all of a sudden it all comes down to Artisine. It's all the rotates, and yeah, Gru are bringing him the business. A flawless a round. There's obviously been a lot of talk about the uh, the, the role pivot, or I guess the, the agent pivot for Kesnet was playing sure. the Jet back in kickoff, now on the I Reina. I love that you're saying the role pivot. He's yeah. playing Reina. From fighting agent to fighting agent. Go do more fighting. And you know what? It worked for him. I think this Reina pick, while well, you are going to be losing some of the value of a, a Jet, especially the, the ability to updraft on defense and hold those lines with an operator, uh, you do have the ability to really accelerate within rounds, especially these early rounds. Where overheating into 150 HP is going to be very meaningful. Everyone wants to hate the Reina so bad. They you do. Don't, you, you could just not. You hate the Reina until you get owned by the Reina, and then yeah. you hate it even more. That's fair. You, you should lose out on things, though. The lack of verticality, I think, is the biggest thing to point out. We saw that when Crew in their last icebox showing lost 13-11. Could have yeah. really been a 2-0 in that game against Furia. But I think their defense really suffered in the way they were struggling to get control fighting MA. They do have a ton of different ways to sort of flash combo your way into a site. Maybe too many. They're really oh, yeah, over-indexing into it with the Leers, the Gecko Flash, the Dizzy, the, the KO as well. But right now it's an open B site that they're using those flashes to keep scaling for full snowman control in the post. I think what is interesting is we've seen a lot of teams start to go for these heavy flash combo comps, the, the KO Gecko here on Icebox. And I, I feel like it plays really well into the older Harbor Viper comp. We've seen pretty consistently pretty much every team except Loud, who plays Harbor Viper. Obviously, it's like their comp. Everyone else is really struggling to get wins against these double flash comps when they're playing with the Harbor Viper, just because those combos are so powerful yeah. to fight through the smokes. One enemy remaining. Back to back flawless? Yeah, why not? Holy. Mazine can do his best just to die to spike here, not allow any ult orbs to be farmed up to. Things to, to keep in mind. The rain ult, not so big, but Klaus already being four out of seven on that gecko. Potentially for a round four, a big round in the context of this game. To be able to use that to convert over into it would be lovely. And when you look at the buy that crew went for, two rifles, two guardians, Melzer's going to be able to buy another rifle here as well. It's not a bonus for crew. They are full fighting into this next one. I think the guy to watch when you're watching a crew game, Kesden is the obvious answer because he's ridiculous. He has the most unique playstyle of hot anyone take. in America's, right? He's the only guy who's lurking every game and exclusively playing duelists. But because of that, he's the guy who's basically the primary entry player for this team. It was the same when MTA was actively playing with the squad where that KO has a lot of pressure. But here comes an early fight here. It might be hard getting proactive. Three players already pushed up, but the, the Dizzy comes out, the knife as well. He Not is bad. now aware of this stack of three players over into A main space. And I think the, the instant queue, if you look at the map already, you've got a, a Viper headed over towards that B main. We'll see if Melzer actually wants to step into that space or just contain, because his team, after forcing away those three players on pipes, is still looking to fish out and take space up to 410. That Lurk going to be activated into B main now. A lot of space being taken here for crew. And just the one player to watch him out. 
Viper on Viper towards the B site. Wall comes up, and that allows now the scale to come in Toss towards yellow. You'll notice over towards A, all four players have just completely frozen. They're not really looking for any early fights. I think Kesnet is taking maybe a fourth line, but Elzer's looking for his opportunity. Timing here. Now here come the rotates. Toxins we played so many rounds like this. So often it's Kesnet in a spot like this, but as soon as they have a player that makes it up to the front of that Viper wall, now the rotate's coming. They all rotate, swinging back through spawn. They're going to send one player late into mid, but you have to keep your eyes out because Melzer has taken so much space back towards spawn. Do you ever expect someone to be on this deep of a line? Three players from MIB are stomping their Toxins way towards him. How much can he get? No! Player swing. Neither are looking, but Melzer, he misses the mark. It's a disaster. The Guardian betraying him a little bit. Now eyes for Cruz shift over to Shy, who's crept up into and two. And the this reflank is everything in this round. The question, can Crew buy enough time for this reflank? Cloud gets one. Cruz has a flash Alter. for the Artisan. He's got the opening kill. He threw the smoke. Great opener, but FRC is holding on to this one, and he's not stopping the defuse. <laughs> that round just evaporated. So strange. Just five players left alive, three and two in a defuse round, but the wall was too problematic. He wasn't able to play off his flash to get more than just the one kill. And really, it all falls apart because back here, right, Melzer misses the shot. If he has a Vandal, he can probably recover a little bit easier out of that. But they planted for that deep snow, uh, snowman control. So your rewrap into mid doesn't actually have an angle in. That's why Crew had to give up the round, because their second lurk had no chance to actually influence the fight. And my BR again, starting the same way as last round, with a bit of an aggro face towards our main, just recovering the orb here for JZZ. Yeah, usually these gecko comps like to fight a ton into B main like we're seeing this time around. So MIBR's read is to just fight on the other side of the map and threaten very forward space. And the reason for that is how easy it is to throw that dizzy, bounce it off the wall, pick it up, you have it back in 10 seconds, and you have another cycle ready to take space deeper into the map. Yeah, here it comes in. Dizzy now clears all of back yellow. They've got the molly there too and can scale up, and they can either use the thrash that Klaus has, again, in round four to aid the hit, or just as they go for this spike plant, use that to make sure no one can push and try to kill the planter. As Shazam was saying, as Shroud knows. <laughs> Crazy line, by the way. The struggle of this map is actually planting once you have the space. And this comp, you have to fight so deep if you want to be able to do Look, so. Klaus has his own little po uh, pocket shroud that he can send out to, to land the plant. You do have to provide protection for that wingman, but this fight is good. Off that fish into the moment, he's not clearing this corner, oh, right. it's sloppy. And he loses his life because of it. Kesnit, now trying to be the hero of this round, has to do a little bit more. Their cycle has dropped on the wall, so all players retreat back into main. There's no harbor wall to keep scaling forward here for MIBR. They're gonna have to take these fights, unlike last round. Early drone clears out all of sight. They should know it's full into main. Klaus takes a great fight into backside. Kesnit gets another, and Nine he's still nine. going. Jay-Z Zizo pressing forward towards yellow. Clock is starting to dwindle. They go for the tap to beat the fun players nine. into the fight. And now on to the stick. Coming around the corner is Klaus. JZZ cannot shut down. Crew get their third. Lovely stuff by Crew. I, I, I think the critical moment of that round was that basically third refright from Kesnet. Killing the player towards Snowman. Knocking that harbor offline. If this comp doesn't have those smokes online, it has basically no tools to win a retake. Yeah, and that's a round where, honestly, it looked like it was a disaster. The Thrash wasn't able to be recovered. They didn't clear out into Snowman, but just good post plant positions because there's no hard wall. Completely different to the last round, they can actually take those long-range fights, and that's where a guy like Kesnet is going to thrive. I'm at BR this time, fighting for some B main control. Artisan, pretty deep on this line. Yeah, and crew's gonna know that something fishy is at play. First of all, there's the orb take, and they can press tab, know that one over to MIBR. But also, there's no early A main fight, and that has been the norm for the last four rounds crew have seen. is just doing his best curry impression. Sitting in spawn, biding his time to deal with Love this it. flank. The only thing crew really have to worry about is, oh, is there an actual stack over towards this A site? After that early wall, and MIBR are here on the rotates. A lot of good stall utility to keep them stuck behind this wall. And MIBR, MIBR can look to flood out with this. Good knife there for Heat. Fight on the flank about to come in. Artisan pushing, actually dodged away, but we're still on site. And this fight is massive, Kesnet. Gonna continue with that ultimate, does get traded out. Now a 2v1 and JZZ 
don't work. Come on, MIDI. Uh, MIDI I be a Rushing the fights in the backside. Got a couple back. of them. I, honestly, if they've been able to take care of, of Melzer on site, Shy was way too far away. He'd taken the 1v1 against an artisan that had pushed all the way through B main. That's actually why MI MIBR was able to look for that heavy stack into this A site. One enemy remains. And I think the norm that we've seen now a few times is crew have looked to continue fighting for it, right? They've got all these flashes. You might as well fight into backside A. Look to keep fighting into Snowman, too. And that's the exact solution against Harbor Viper. Harbor Viper thrives when it can push you off site, use those smokes to get someone on the spike, uh, while everyone else is pushing you deeper last. and deeper away. If you maintain your for space the on the site, they qualifiers. only have the Sova as an initiator to actually get back in. There's no yep. flashes, there's no dizzy combo, none of those tools to win that fight. So, MIBR, they slam the timeout button, they chat it up what is going to be the pivot for them well first option is they can just take more forward space like they did in b main play a very strong side of the map heavy retake side on the other and then use that b main push to get multiple players fighting through on the flank obviously they didn't have really money at that time so artisan loses 1v1 but if they bring two three players on that flank they can try to you know flip the map upside down as you know crew is going to fight in towards your spawn you just take the enemy spawn noticing that that is going to be a potential gap the other option is fight down to the death on site don't allow them past your viper wall because like we've seen the retakes can be a little bit hard if crew have a lot of players alive in them right there so the question now what did that world-class coaching duo of fraud and bazooka could cook up in the timeout how are my are going to adapt to start back towards this b main fight yeah, playing up here once again. They've been doing this horizontal wall from RGL. The crew are fighting directly into. Artisan gets the kill, it's a dashes away, and the Hunter's Fury from downtown. Not going to connect on much, but they got that opening kill, and that's all they need to dominate the space. Interesting idea there. Just trying to use that Hunter's Fury off contact. Doesn't catch anyone, but still, man advantage gained. Now a pivot back towards this A site. FRC, great shots there, and he'll retreat. MIBR, the idea was to stop playing so passively, especially on this A site. Take some forward lines. Rather, you take a 50 50 fight than lose it. Shot's not quite connecting there, and it looks like crew will have a plan, but this is a very different situation. The previous post plants, they've had five players alive on this site. Now they've got two and a straggler back in their spawn. MIBR, this time, not giving any fights away to these crew players, vying for an advantage. It's all going to be on heat. Looking for timing, looking for an angle from top side. Two flashes of Molly, but he's hard pressed to use it. Harbor Alt committed. That reckoning is gonna force these players to be fast on their feet, moving back and forth to evade. Bobs has the ult late, but they have to buy time to even risk mm. the investment there. Timer ticking, fight forward. MIPR wins the first FRZ. FRZ he gets them all. Dude just dominated the A site. From the early fight he took on the pipes player to then on the retake. That's a good flood from MIPR. Now, that time they had a lot of tools at their disposal, right? They were up in numbers. They had the Harbor ulti as well, which really changed a lot of those early lines. And they had to use two ults to win that one. It was a trap play with the Hunter's Fury, then the Reckoning to retake even with man advantage. And this is where MIBR are going to be challenged because it's not going to be that easy in the future. They're going to have to keep looking for these forward lines, changing up how they play on this A site. Crew have done a lot of prodding into that A main space. So whenever they recognize, oh, this time there's no early Harbor wall, or this time we see a kill twitcher. They're going to know what the setup is going to be. It's very important that MIBR stay flexible. Guns back for crew. Klaus still has his ultimate online. Might just look to go fast into the A site here as Kesson is ready to scale. So far, crew have just seen the Sova. He's so deep. He's still deep. looking for the fight. For Absolutely. That's Kesson. Down trades are excellent out of crew though. And now Artisan in trouble has to retreat off of this one. Dash already invested. Suddenly it's a 3v4 and it's a retake from IBR. Artisan's gonna need to fish for something. Thrash goes into backside. Should be able to move that into a position where they can recover it for the post plant as well. And they do. Wrapping it all the way around 410. Dropping is down. Like. Already for it is crew. Well, He's under the so so proactive in their post plants. Yeah. Don't give you an inch to breathe. FRZ already alone, already tagged by two pieces of utility. He's got no chance. You want more? Here's more. I don't think he wants more. Unlikely. He's saving as a matter of fact. <laughs> Ouch. Another round that's just coming down to these A fights. 
MYBR is trying to be more proactive, get yep. that early advantage, but Crew is just owning them in these team battles. And it's clear everything MIBR is doing is, is sort of fighting on off angles and then trying to re-swing into lines. Sure. You saw it uh, from JZZ being right around the corner near 410. You saw it swinging out Raptors from Artisan as well. And in theory, that's a good idea. You sort of can catch, as you hear the Leer sound coming out, if you're on one of those off angles, you can swing in right here. You're never gonna get caught by a Leer because you're gonna fight into the angle and not be seen. It's a good pivot, but didn't work this time. <laughs> yeah, agreed. 5-2 scoreline also agrees. Now, one area we haven't seen crew or even MIBR do anything is mid. This is the first time I'm actually seeing MIBR look for a setup. They're going for a quick knives play, updraft into spawn. Can't quite find it. And that's down to two knives, which is not what you want without the rifle purchase. Everyone's being spotted. He'll retreat as well. So the early play doesn't net much for MIBR or that forward alarm bot position, which has already been broken. Right now, MIBR playing a pretty much full retake setup over towards A. Again, uh, over near Pipes, you've got Mazine that is playing for a forward line. But apart from that, they've got double Killjoy Molly set up. They've got the wall. They've got the Killjoy ult to assist in that retake. But again, these rounds are hinging on the site players, not giving away their life if they're going to take a forward fight. They live 5v5. It's going to be a straight up retake with that Killjoy ult. Now, Mazine wanted to fight off that, but he can't because the, the KO ult coming in can't throw up his wall. So has to ball away. Party, yeah. And now in the post fight, Melzer has that access. Attack. Pit. That pit can extend all the way over to the spike. He'll be able to find no, himself in the right corner, keep this off online. That means the mollies are so close. Kesnet is going through tube right now for the late wrap. That's going to be important late. But they've actually positioned this killjoy all deep on the site. Now every player from crew is pushed so far back, so this round starts to hinge on Kesnet. Artisan picks up, gets a kill. The turret did not see the Reyna going through spawn. The Mel's are still fighting forward. FRZ Whoa, shuts it down. Amazing. And as Klaus gets a kill, more time is stalled. Here yeah, comes yeah. that flight from Kesnet. He's down. Halfway well, from the scene, he's killed. sticking onto this one. Shia will try and spam, but he doesn't have enough bullets. Awesome. MIBR nice. winner. Maybe. What a strange way of playing that retake, too. MIBR did not do your typical Killjoy ultimate back in screens. They actually sprinted onto the site. And it was a great read because crew, what they wanted to do was, you know, play yeah, time. They thought they had 10 it. extra seconds from that Killjoy to go that late wrap. But they put a very forward pit that forced these players from crew way deeper than they were expecting. That really exploded the post plant for crew. Alp now invested for Artisan. He'll play solo yeah, towards Yeah, he's paid. What he can uh, give a... Kya what they? And it's actually with a double Bobby work setup. You've got two players from I'm crew creeping up into B main right now. Public information. No flash or anything to force Artisan off the angle. And he's come out wide off the wall. Now that five wall right? does allow Melzer to scale over into the corner. I'm using so for it's not a public information. For so she there can is a gap here. Give me a copyright on that. If Melzer walks all the way up, he can get ahead of Artisan, but that updraft great to spot him. On the other side, one of these teammates dropping for MIPR, and that'll be the call to pivot back to A. I think FRZ was trying to play boosted all the way up on top of screens there. Another off angle. This time, crew absolutely expecting it. Still taking their time. A lot of times there's been a player taking a forward line, but a lot of force behind it. So crew have not rushed on their hit, waiting instead to combo this utility into the site. These hits are so tough to deal with. Knife pushes everyone off, the util invests them in, and again, crew has space in backside. Has the sacrificial lamp. He just wants to fight, but that's a big one for Artisan. Question is, do they expect Kesnit this deep? Mazine also on the flank. He'll be the late round insurance policy. Kesnit on the close angle. Dart reveals him. Artisan operator oh. connects for his own shot. Now Melzer, the next piece of this puzzle. He'll swing at just the right time with the dash. Means that Artisan evades him and he'll swing back in for Come on, another. let's go. go back and forth. And again, Come on, MIBR. Come I, I am supporting MIBR just because my last season, uh, last season, the last Switches qualifier to kick off my Arjil and Kila Kanabai. He was going to be there, even if his teammate dropped late on the wrap of the flank. But that's another layer now that crew have to deal with now that the op has entered the picture. And those forward angles, there's not a lot of place to, to hide out. They started getting pressured by utility, swinging into the operator. That's a lot of good pressure from MIBR to force those players out into the open. Yeah, new to this MIBR roster this season, Artisan had some moments in kickoff, but... If he can find himself a consistent star for this roster, remember, he's the guy replacing Heat into this team. And we know what Heat could do as at least an individual. 
And this position top yellow is so devastating. The Gecko not doing a good job at clearing that, but I believe... Oh, oh, okay. That's a certified Kesnit moment. I mean, he's just jumping around to, to get the peak, jumping through his own wall, and look how fast he scales up. Grabs the off, comes back to yellow, freeze. Crew never wants to rush, especially with their B main hits. So often they will just leave a player back yellow and then rotate back into the A site. And that's one of the things that makes this team so different from the one that went 0 with 10, the discipline. At the same time, space was taken up into mid, so they know MIPR no crew are executing into this one. What? Finds he's running at them with an operator, and he's winning every damn you duel. Run. Lockdown committed. Can that's MIPR the, even go for this? Nah, that's the we're not losing this round lockdown. Absolutely no chance. That'll bring the save in for MIBR, and it's not even saving the off. No one else did anything that round. It was all Kesnet. Okay. Wingman planted the spike, first of all. Uh, Melzer threw up his wall. Boo. Um, nope. Couldn't have, couldn't have gotten that jump peek without the wall. So that's a big E press. Very skillful ability. <laughs> Mm, he right clicks. Meanwhile, Kesnit killed everyone. Okay, on the side. did a little bit more. I'll give you that. I'll give you that one. Couldn't do it without the team. But now he's, he's, up up the he's saving that over, wanting to attack up Who on the Reyna. It's a bit wait. <laughs> Hello? They planted so far back site, like their plant was all the way back there, so it killed him. The default plant spot doesn't kill you there, but uh, unaware. Oh, he was falling. falling? There's no Zio MS. Nobody can hit that. I can't hit that online. That only really happens in Zio MS. The duality of man. True. The young Yin <laughs> All right, six to four here. Crew, that's a great round to recover, but still money left for MIBR. Fast once again towards this A space, but an early harbor wall to try and slow things down. MIBR aren't really playing behind it, but usually they have been. Usually that wall has always had Artisan playing right behind it. And at the same time, if you check out B main, there is a walk up. So again, MIBR are testing, pushing on these extremities and boxing crew into space. Crew have not been doing much in the way of lurking, in the way of, you know, re, you know, turning away and rotating into another site. They've just been full committing five players into sites over and over, and it's been working. <laughs> nice shot there by Melzer. That's a flank cut off from this round. That means no dash to get back into site. It's going to be tough now, especially consider Kesnit is fighting. He's off it. He's going to want more in this round. The man will talk for the moment. The next wave coming in with Klaus on the swing. Kesnit for a second. Can't trade out that Reyna. Puts JZZ in a nigh unwinnable position. Dart to work with. The time ticking. Noise made on the drop. First shot is found, but he's down to 7 HP. And you don't win that. Swing it into Kesnit. So, like, I'm all the, the Reyna hate. I, I'm pro Reyna hate. Okay. But can, but can you give me the code but, for crew? Yeah. No, but like okay. actually, no, what I'm saying is like the way they're playing with it, like taking those super forward lines is exactly what you need to be able to do, right? When you're swinging all that yeah, 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 second and third time into a round, Jet only gets through that once with the dash. You have to pre-prime it, so you have a very limited window in which you can actually do that. Kesnet is just a full fight all the time, and MIPR have not been think, not. strong enough in their pre-retake protocols to be able to, to deal with that effectively. It's interesting to watch the difference from this map versus the Kesnet we see on something like Ascent, where he's lurking pretty much every round. Here we see a lot more rounds where they're just going for these straight-up A hits, and he's just a legit entry duelist player. I keep and it seems level. to be working really well. There's overloading these sites, but again, not when MIBR play these off angles. They no, found another by. winning combination on this A site and have another huge numbers advantage. Big ults online for this retake. The Reckoning, the Hunter's Fury, and MIBR will just play the Flood here. Crew need to try and squeak out an advantage from this one. Hold off, Weird alarm bot spotting out that wide swing on Raptors and they're getting active. But that ult perfectly taunt. These players now have to dance in place. Melzer, he's got no shot at that one. Shy alone, stunned on the site. The next wave coming. It's over. MIBR. For what was a pretty dominant game to start for crew. Pull us to a 5 7. Nice half. Off, five, seven. 
All things considered, I think MIBR made the Team right adjustments. A. They couldn't, you know, turn it into a round win every single time. But the way they adjusted playing over on that A side seemed to go very well for them. Instead Switching of just all sides. hitting so much utility commitment into the start of rounds, playing a quieter setup, playing those off angles worked very, very nicely for them. Lovely stuff. We get to see it one more time here. Yeah, Th those off angles just everything for MIBR. These guys can shoot when they get those chances. And that really makes things winnable for MIBR in the second half. But before we get into that, let's hear from Klaus and get his take on moving to the IGL role. Time out, did you get that? Which obviously can't take a day. What for? Tuvieron dos razones, creo que porque Melzer no podía estar como higeleando bien y performeando bien al mismo tiempo en stage, como que se le, le costaba a él personalmente. Y yo, por otro lado, estaba muy cómodo, o sea, como que por parte tenía muchas ideas, muchas cosas para, para darle el equipo y que en mi posición, como no IGL, no podía darlo. Y ahora como que estoy de vuelta en IGL, siento que nada, le doy esa como versatilidad al equipo, le doy más ideas, le doy más estructura, le doy más más cosas claras que hacer y, y nada, como que hay más propuesta mía, más voz y, y siento que le, que le encaja perfecto al equipo. You have to remember as well, this isn't a new thing for Klaus. He was IGL for this team back when Crew was making waves in 2021, 2022, early then as well, when they were the best team in LATAM, going to every international event, going on a run to what, top four at yeah. Champs 2021? He's been a leader at the top level before, and I imagine just getting reacquainted to that role, pretty comfortable for the guy. For sure. Getting the team the, the first win last week, trying to run that into a second one here with a solid first half on Icebox, that's for sure. I just think uh, a lot of the ways crews ha crew have incorporated the, the hyper unique play style of Kesnit so much into their mid rounding has been very effective to see. And it's funny too, because Klaus and Kesnit, they've been together since that beginning as well, right? It makes and sense. The more things change, the more they stay the same. You still see an Ascent game Ooh, where Kesnit's buddy. flying jet yep. and lurking. He's, so be, two, he's, three years ago, he's yeah, yeah. still doing it now. And you know what? And it, it still works. It still works. That's that's the crazy thing. The most unique of player in America's, I like it. No one else plays a duelist like it. But uh, don't do it at home, folks. Yeah, don't, <laughs> don't learn from If you lock Reyna and you start lurking, I'm going to be mad. Someone from Wisconsin. Hi. Don't be afraid. All right. We're getting into the second half here. Good look at our employee of the month and his teddy bear where the real action it kicks off. Kedzinit's employee of the month. He has <laughs> been for the last like three years. <laughs> you just go to the group campus and it's just tons of blacks. I love it. A little fight into mid to start, but am I the gonna set their sights towards that? So different, right? I think there was one round all last half where anything was done in mid and it was just like a jet updraft with knives and then gave up completely. Already crew changing things just a little bit. Playing pretty soft towards this A side. It's just shy for now with that forward alarm bot, gets broken, and here comes the exec. This harbor comp is excellent at exec, but where it can fall apart is these flood retakes, flash through the smoke. Artisan caught out in the open Hello? and missing his shots. What's Hello? happening there? He just dismantled them. He got two. What are you doing? And okay, he'll actually let's... find a connection faster. They're onto his former teammate. Take a but breath. There's a lot of time, but the spike is on site. Could have been a maybe a round or something. He wants to wait yeah. long enough that there's a threat that he could walk into mid. Now, unfortunately for him, a killjoy turret would have seen that, but Shy just pulled it back. As a matter of fact, it's a possibility of a timing now. FRZ has to be perfect though. With this HP, you have to land two headshots. There's no real way for him to get down without making noise. Drop his herd. Crew knows where he's coming from. Ooh. Shy, high low with Melzer, and it's clean. Flood retake wins the round for Crew. MIBR are, are gonna have to be prepared for that. Already going to the second round, talking about it, like how do we deal with that? Who, who's breaking the, the leers coming through? Who's playing anti flash, etc., etc. Well, and it's going to shift all the time. Your comms have to be very, very good when you're looking for it. The upside I see is that this is likely the comp they're scrimming against the most. The the KO Gecko stuff is taking over on huh? Icebox. More and more teams are implementing this comp every week. Not the Reina version, yeah. version but it has the same idea sure. as, say, the more normal one that a team like Genji or Sen is running. That it does. 
And maybe you're looking for a bit of a spread right now. They're hoping to find maybe a pick in B main, A main, up mid. Fortunately, they lose that opener, so not given too much of an opportunity here. But I actually really like this, especially on, on a round two after you lose pistol. I am a big fan. Instead of just like grouping and trying to get a spike plant down, I love pressuring mid and finding out what is the killjoy setup. What's the sort of hold look like? And a that can set you up. Expedition. It's a recon expedition. It's a recon, you know? It's a scouting scouting mission. And the whole the whole idea there is you try and figure out how do I lurk into mid in future That's rounds. That's a vandal anymore. One enemy remaining. And round shouldn't get any more weird than that. And he has Buddha. basically one HP. The spike, he has to cross back through window and Melzer's reflanking. All should be well and good. And it is. And it is. There we go. Vandal picked back up. And crew convert it pretty clean. But now, hey, MIBR have learned some things, right? You've got, okay, there's a Killjoy turret in Kitchen. There was actually a player playing on top of it that last round as well. Are they putting the alarm bot down inside of our Viper Orb in mid? Could that be an opportunity? Is the, is the walk up towards A through mid maybe a little bit weak for a late wrap, something like that? So those little ideas that you start, you know, piecing together the more rounds you play, especially early in the half, and all that information is what helps in IGL. Ready. Sort of call those bigger moves. This is where we start to get the unique parts of this Gecko Rainacom. You have two different agents who can combo with your Gecko There's for flashes. That's and what work. they could set up here in game instead. Just a contact play forward. Uh, Kesnik okay, okay. very deep on this line. Molly Ooh. fading. Swing. Yeah, let's go. He was not ready. Artisan oh, the trade. The trade is there. Can the players get out? What? Do they even need to? Friends oh, being one, but JCC catches Klaus on the escape. This round is a mess right now. You've got a player over in A. You've got one holding here from top site. It's a two on two. Basically on A, and especially without this spike getting planted, MIBR have to stall out time. They must buy time for this lurk to come in and bite them in the They're back. They're going back into the lurk. Heat is going to pick up a gun. And no he's way. wrapping all the way no around way. them. There's I, no shot. I mean, now they're not even waiting for the lurk. They're just gonna, they're just gonna keep going. They're gonna go back into A. They've got this player hiding out in spawn. That should be an easy kill for FRZ. Suddenly, it's just an A hit. And Heat is so confused. He's like, I went all the way. They, they must think that like those players walked up under mid because there's no other way they could have gotten out, right? Except for the... In oh, there's a fight saw. here in spawn. FRZ. He's oh, looking no. the wrong way. The Lurker Ooh. falls. Massive for Shy. Now, suddenly, this KO is reflanking again, making noise so to regroup in mid. Yeah, Mazine fully aware that those players are going to be coming back in through spawn. Double mollies on Mazine, a shock dart on JZZ, as well as a dart. A lot of good post plant you tell. But a so. knife for Heat. Oh, he nope. misses it. That's not going to help him in this endeavor. Time ticking. One flash, one molly. Tap on the spike. Shy going to be the man up for the fight. First flash molly out. This is JZZ. He wins the fight as well. And now only Heat left in this one. Dart in front of him tags him out in the open. Both players just biding their time as the shock darts rain in. And he didn't have a shot at that one. That Weird is round. a ridiculous, ridiculous round. I mean, literally, I, the reason why that player in spawn, it was FRZ, right? It was looking the wrong way. I think just anticipated those players to be rotating through mid. It had taken so long, surely. You think they've come under two, but they hadn't. But the beauty of that little FPX buy on round two is that crew not only had basically full rifles for their bonus, they now have full rifles again here into round 16. And might be our looking to play up into mid here. We'll see how quickly they want to go. If they want to just leave an insert or Artisan really wants to take a fight. It's an updraft dash top gen. Top two, rather. Just breaking that early Killjoy turret. And that puts so much pressure down because now, all of a sudden, a player could be walking out there. You could walk Yo. under two. One player can't hold mid, so three players come to re-clear it. It's a well-timed re-clear. They're going to inspect over towards two. Try and replace an alarm bot, but I think just got insta-broken. Yeah, it was. Mazine was on that line. Destroys it. But Melzer finding a pick in B main changes this round big time. Way harder to pivot back into that B site. MIBR are going to have to go A. Look at the call, though. Crew's ready for this one. Three players stacked up on A, and Heat it has got a nasty off angle. Those players started on B, went to re-clear mid after the early pressure, are now reading the A finish. That's the beauty of this comp. It's so proactive, constantly rotating, constantly having more util online to re-clear space. Such a different look. MIBR just played a half where they just sat kind of still, waited for the fights to come to them. And when it worked, it worked. But Crew, do they 
tricked themselves out of this round. You can see Kesnet was looking to rotate out. They're Maybe they've heard this some fake sound. a little bit. Kesnet's gone. Now these players spot it. Klaus has a good position though. Left. How much can he get done from up top? Artisan is directly below him. He's hearing so much noise, and that's a lovely sprite transfer onto two. The third won't convert, but this flood retake is so fast. Kesnet for his kill. JZZ, halfway across the world. Just simply forced to save. Ten seconds. Crew's left. movement that entire round was exactly what they needed to do. They responded so well to what MIBR were showing on the map. And I think once they got that kill in B main, it just simplified everything. They could go for that heavy stack into A. Even though they almost rotated out of that space, didn't matter. They still kept two players around, and that was more than enough to succeed. Some big ults now starting to come online. They'll have the thrash oh. here for crew. This, this might just be a snowball. Yeah, Mel's are just playing off that one way. MIBR player just walked straight on into that. Got shut down. MIBR not with a good buy. JZZ almost the hero. But there are some options, right? You get a kill on JZZ, all of a sudden Hunter's Fury available in a post plant. They could get something done. But it's not going to happen towards B main. Again, this big opening three players here. If the space isn't fought for, the other thing is too, they can just show utility and then rotate out of that space. MIBR aren't going to want to walk back into it. Yeah, I think one interesting facet of this crew team's defensive rotates is how proactive you see Kesnet in all this. He's the guy who's being set up, rotating, moving around constantly. He talked in an interview with our colleague Dryad from the Lat Sound broadcast about this, saying that he actually adds a lot of ideas, kind of acts as a secondary caller on their defensive yeah. sides to set up rounds like this. And I think it makes so much sense, both on the defense, where he's going to be the one taking a lot of those fights, also the on the, on the attack, a lot of the mid-round hinging off of his position. This round, though, hinging on Melzer, alone on the B site. He's not going to look to play Toxins this too aggressively, but crew a couple of rounds in a row have gone for their one and dipped away, but That's swing a little in. Bold. That's a little bit too much. Against a bad buy, giving a gun, and Artisan, how aggressive does he want to get? Where'd that gun go? I think it fell off. Now, Artisan doesn't have a weapon. It's an up for one. Man advantage maintained here, but... No real guns being able to recover. Hold your horses, though. Mazine all the way through A site. He is fast on that flank. How fast is he, though? Because crew is going quite swift on this one. Bit awkward in the kitchen. 1v1. One one. No, he lost it. Oh, Another man. ridiculous lot gone wrong. Alt committed here to try and buy time on the plant. His crew fights all the way deep into main. RGL is down. FRZ is the second layer of this re -flank, and he's oh. taking care of it as well. Stunning stuff from crew. How did they win that round? I'm just gonna say gun diff. I also, I, th I think MYBR just really overcooked it on those flanks. They're only playing with three players on site. Their, their late A wrap completely failed from Mazine. And then the spike's not planted for FRZ to go under two. Also just awareness diff. Every one of those players on a flank, crew is ready, crew is watching. Very thorough there. I'm just... I feel a little the disappointed we've seen a few times this game. Last, last half as well. These B plants not supporting a late rewrap. And that's been a big miss. There's been a lot of attacking rounds lost just because the plant position does not support the macro decisions that those players are, are deciding to go for. And it's it's really baked some of these attacking these rounds away. And those are the things that seem really simple when you're watching it. But it, it, it can be kind of difficult to, to think of. But when you're a well-drilled team, right? Generally, you're going to be calling that. You're going to be proactive about your teammates. I feel like that's kind of a almost a symptom of the pressure getting them to a little bit. Letting those important things slip through the cracks. Yeah, especially when you got that opening pick on the Viper that's yes. top side. You should be able to get a more open plant, you would think. But they go for the safe plant. It's an eco. Let's make sure we can get it down. That's a reasonable decision, but... Uh, you even see them, the, the way they're fighting forward. When we're watching crew go for these proactive late fights, it's Kesnet with two players behind him, with initiator and utility invested. We're just not really seeing MIBR trading in the same way when they're taking those risks, when they're going for those plays. And they are, MIB are going to come in after the timeout, and I think, uh, again, they're, they're looking to challenge into mid. I think that's a good read. Mid has been a little bit weaker in the start of rounds. Who are looking to re-clear that space. Ours in the last time we saw him go for this, it was a quick updraft dash getting on top of two. Very different Killjoy setup this time around. The, the deep, loud-esque turret placed all the way back in kitchen. This is the make or break from IBR. Money on an edge, big ults oh. online, they're punishing the forward it's fight an, here. It's an ace split, two nine. players working into pal while they get that first kill, but Melzer's nine. ready for it. Nine. He wins another? The mid push what? completely fails! Crew just dominate MIBR as they Ooh, separate. 
That's just the man. That's just the man wins every fight. He's stuck in an alt. He's sidestepping back and forth. He still wins. Out of Kesnitz book. That's a lurking jet. Can't do that against crew. They wrote that book. The lurks have been such a failure this game for MIBR. Crew have been ready for them every single time. Clean. Okay. Clean start from JZZ. Down to a 1v3. He's got to go through the jungle gym to get the spike back, though. I have the spike. And there's some insurance here. Crash if they need it in the late what? round. Good util for crew. He's just making too much noise. Lane. Map point crew. Match point. Out the cowardly, uh, Mind you, this is the, the first match here in stage one that MIBR are playing. We're not playing in the first week of 11 teams. We have to have a team sit out. But not the hottest debut here up against Crew on Icebox. To be fair, it is Crew's map pick, but they have been completely leading every move MIBR have made. One of the interesting things to me about this game thus far is just the kills for Crew. Normally, you watch this team. Kesson has like double the next best guy on the team. Yeah. Maybe he's up there too. Like they're they're a team built around their stars. But in this match, I really feel like we've seen the supportive cast step up. The trades on the Kesson have been excellent. The way they're scaling together, every member of this team is getting involved. I guess. It's a 12-6 game that crew are dominating. And yet it's game where Kesnit, if you look at first kills, first deaths, four first kills to six I'm first deaths. Taking. He's not having an outstanding performance when it comes to finding those openers. And I think that is what every crew fan wants to see. Not the not the poor Kesnet number, <laughs> but they want to see, they want to see a well-balanced crew, right? Sure. Or the rest of the team is stepping up behind him. And like you're pointing out, I think that is exactly what we're seeing so far this game. For a lot of this team's life, it has been the epitome of no help. And when you see a game that it's a lot more even, it is great to see. Heat especially, I feel like, has been a great addition to this squad in that regard. The firepower on that guy. I mean, the growth we've seen from him, from kind of getting leaving ways with MIPR amid some kind of internal struggles with the team, maybe yeah. some arguments about the identity of the squad, to now changing over to crew, being a supportive player, and still putting up numbers. There's some growth there. You know what in this series is going to feel good? Get out of my way! MIBR, everything riding on this round now. Knives popped, uh, scuffed by with three guardians. Again, though, it is just Melzer playing over towards the B site. Right now, heat is heating oh, up. What the Why did I say that? Don't. I didn't even again. mean to. I just autopiloted. He's over on the B site. Cool. Fast flying for crew, though. Three players have an option to go through, but instead just leave one in spawn. The two others will group back towards oh, mid. Oh, no. The harbor wall giving a pocket for these players to hide inside of. Artisan goes up and down and gets the first kill. Look at him go, but not enough knives to finish the job. MIPR find themselves up four to two numbers in the post. Kesnit has alt popped. This is the moment for a Kesnit round. Two v four on the retake. Kesnit already opening onto the first kill, and that spam damn near kills RGL. Class will finish the job. Now a kill Joy all committed. FRT on the swing. It's a one v one. Can Kesnit close the game? Absolutely. An incredible performance from the Rhino. Thirteen to six. Crew take map one. That's a finish right there. Oh yeah! Bad crew. MIPR getting super active, but Kesney just cannot be stopped there. A demon in the late rounds. MIPR gonna have to go back and lick their wounds after that one. Pretty devastating first map to lose, but we go over to their choice of sunset as the next option. I really and they've got to be feeling good from losing 10 games in the regular season last year, every single one, to now coming in here, winning their debut, and following up with a dominant map one. It really feels like it's finally clicking for Crew. Yep, Crew are in it. Getting so active in the post plants. MIBR made it challenging, especially in that second half. The second part of the first half. Oh my god, that round is still giving me chills. When he shoots the guy out of the sky, Artisan was falling off yellow, he gets an easy headshot, then a spam kill with an operator, ridiculous. MIBR not out of it yet. Map number two coming up. Stick around.
Excuse me, would you mind taking a picture of us? Oh, no problem. Thanks. Ooh. Yes, problem. You need Verizon. Trade in that little thing and get a new iPhone 15 Pro with tons of storage, so you can take all the pics. So many selfies. A preposterous amount of panos! That means panoramic. And as many portraits of me as your heart desires. How about none? None. None, yeah, none feels right. Trade in any iPhone in any condition and get iPhone 15 Pro on us. Only on Verizon. Red Bull gives you wings. Tá inspirado pra pegar mais um. Não, o terceiro! Jotinha! Joining me right now, we have Coach Adam. Now, the team just secured a win on Icebox. Now, we're headed over to Sunset, and the team, they've yet to get a win on Sunset. So, what do they have to do? Well, we changed the whole game plan. We used to have a different comp in the kickoff, and now we have a new one. So, I think we are going to surprise MIBR, and hopefully, we can close this series 2 0. All right, can't wait to see it. Good luck. Thank you. Well, you certainly love to hear that if you're a crew fan. We'll see what they're cooking.
as we get ready for map number two. But for now, though, let's talk about what we just saw and what we witnessed was crew looking pretty darn good at this video game. I'm right there. I mean, those guys came out of the gate swinging dumb. Yeah, and I, I mean, I told you guys, like, Reyna on Icebox makes sense. You said it. I you said it the you whole guys, time. Kesnit needs to run Reyna. Forget right. Jet. Jet is dead. Yeah. All the clocks back, and it worked. He said that for sure. Uh, yeah. He totally did. Wyatt, no you famously picked against crew. Yeah. You, uh, what were you what? thinking? Uh, okay. What were you thinking? A little bit of slander. Right? Yeah, gaslighting yep. you we, a little bit. Can we press the... That's that's where we press the buzzer on that one. <laughs> no, nah, this was... I, first of all, in the individual game, MIBR got hard outclassed. I mean, yeah. Every crew Yo. player ends with a positive KD. Crucial... Uh, fights Massive, throughout bro, each round. Was just, right? They were taking awesome all of them. To play. Yeah, it was, that was just an obvious they were on a totally different the thing is, yeah, yeah, I mean, you even saw it in that pistol there that we honest, just witnessed, right? It was like, MIBR had a great opportunity. TOC mein is not, it's not, you know, enough to let us know that we are from where we are, what are our contacts and stuff. Because like, we all send them a message, you know? That's the thing. Everybody will keep because like if you are not, many people have asked me that. And when I got it, I was let know. But I was told that we are not allowed to disclose how are we get it. That's the thing. ओके यार बट यू नो जस्ट स्टे इन द कम्युनिटी इतना बोलूंगा देखो एग्जैक्टली मैं आपको नहीं बता सकता ऑब्वियसली बट व्हाट आई कैन लेट यू नो इज स्टे इन द कम्युनिटी कनेक्ट विद पीपल जस्ट एंड यू विल गेट टू नो बेसिकली एंड द थिंग इज मुझे तो मैं ऑल के थ्रू मिला है ठीक है uh captain side you can see the logo down there so yeah they get the let's get to थैंक यू वो ही ना है मास्टर भाई बस कम्युनिटी में कनेक्टेड रहो इजी है मिल जाएगा
क्या लगता है चैट क्या होगा भाई भैया जीत जा भाई भैया बट मैं चाहता हूँ जल्दी भी खत्म हो ओ ओ तहल बाय कैंसर्ड बाय कैसनेट ना और कैसनेट
What? How? अरे पीछे पीछे रोन का तो मुझे Nice, nice, my man. Guess too nice.
more sofa like a very hot comfortable for long but I'm going to sit back and I'm going to sit back and I'm going to sit
finding me. अबे को म्यूट है कोई बोला ही नहीं आपने स्ट्रेंज स्ट्रेंज जेसीज़ इट्स मैटर जेसीज़ इज़ डूइंग द सेम थिंग इट्स द स्काई ए फेक आई मीन द टाइमिंग इज़ बीन प्रीटी कंसिस्टेंट दैट डॉग इज़ बीन कमिंग थ्रू बिटवीन 55 सेकंड्स टू अ मिनट फाइव सेकंड्स एंड यूज़ुअली देर्स बीन एटलिस्ट वन बॉडी बाइंड इट नॉट एक्चुअली लुकिंग फॉर दिस टाइम � Instantly taken away by JZZ. I mean, this guy just loves playing out in mid. Number one lurking sky. I hate it that it's working. <laughs> <laughs> but MIBR, honestly, the, the amount of times point. they have been able to full contact into that B site, just knowing that it's the Cypher set up usually, and not often having kill trips or anything set up. A lot of feelings. We'll get a pretty kill. Yeah, a little stat pad for Shy. Yeah. But now especially that Shy has pivoted to playing a lot more over towards that A site. As soon as, you know, crew are grouping up to fight out into mid or anything, B site is getting a little bit weak, and that might be an area that crew look to, There's you know, support a little bit more in the future rounds, sure. look back for another B main trap or something of the like. Game and Chia guys over here next. This guy's a seat, it's enough. What the Shy gets to keep his weapon. That eek around might trick you a little bit, but if it weren't for that, it would have been five rounds in a row for MIBR. They've been dominating on these rifle rounds thus far. Crew just took their second time out of the half Look in a Desmond. close game. Hands on the face, all the way back. The call timeout, I need a nap. Oh, it's a boss moment. Yeah. A but honestly, that's really surprising. Something. They only have three rounds left to play. Adam's got to have a, a great read coming in here to, to justify a call like this. Unless maybe, you know, things are getting rough in the comms. They, they're feeling a little bit frustrated. After losing a couple of rounds, might justify something like that. He is a super vocal coach. Oh, no, he's got ideas. <laughs> yeah. Every time you watch this guy in the timeout, he is yapping like crazy. That's a lot. I mean... In terms of like ults they have to really think about, there's not a ton, because MIBR are playing the control comp. It's like an Omen ult, a Seekers, uh, a Viper's Pit. So maybe they talk about a post plant with a pit, but really I think it's got to be about controlling space in mid in the mid rounds, because that's where a few times now MIBR have done a great job of beating out crew. The interesting thing too is we haven't really gotten to see crew play basically any set retakes. This whole game has been MIBR slowly working through the map, getting picks, and by the time they're in post plants, rounds are pretty much always decided. And that is the nature of this MIBR comp. I think they've been doing a great job of it. Waiting for the lurks, trying to force crew to rotate out of position. Crew are setting up for a bit of a B main fight at the time being. Can get a fault line going. But also from market position, Klaus can support a delayed fight into this A area. MIBR taking it so fast and ult to scout out sight. Sees two players, as a matter of fact. And MIBR, they're continuing to heat up. Shy fighting into the smoke, but gets taken down by JZZ. And what's he gonna do? He's sticking around for now, throws in the molly. He'll escape into the close oh. corner. FRZ tucks though. FRC. Now three players flooding back in. This is gonna be a fast retake. Rolling thunder, but no one's watching Why FRZ. You for the second time when you think he gets. for more. Klaus deals with the problem. Now it's with 3v2 with the flank coming soon. Minute to get the spike down. And my BR could look to just run it into spawn now. These two players grouped up, swinging back into the line. Melzer takes them all down. They double up, and Melzer grabs them all. That's one way to even it out. For the first time, we see a pace change from MIBR. They go much faster into this site. And against those hard hits, flooding in, especially when this comp has ultimates online, is where it thrives. That is so annoying for crew as well, because they just call the timeout, and they're like, okay, how do we deal with this slow play default style? How do we deal with their mid-rounding? And then you just get slammed right off the rip. And that's not a round where, like, it's a raise rocket where you're expecting the aggression. Nah, that was just a good pivot out of the timeout from MIBR. Yeah. Still doesn't win you the round. Sometimes those heroics are enough. JZZ faster up mid here on the lurk, but 
He's lost his Viper over towards A. Getting a little bit too quick on that Lark. Now they're gonna head nice. into an Ace foot through spawn here. It's so fast again. Party incoming out from the B site. RGL Meister is down. A lot of explosion damage as well with the paint shells raining in from above. I mean, it's just artillery across the map from Kesnit to keep this play contained. And well, all that's going down. Shy's on the other side, picking them apart. It's a war of attrition. Who is it? We gain the lead like in this half. Last round in the half. Crew can forget about that slow pan play style, but they've adjusted well to this fast look from MIBR. Game one was a seven to five after the first half for Crew. And MIBR don't want to let that happen. That's now three timeouts in the first half. That is not often you see that MIBR call in this one. You do have a lot of coaches in this server who do love to kind of take that timing to make a call. Bazooka and Fraud over on the MIBR camp. I think probably the reason people were most excited about this MIBR team, right? For the NA audience, yeah. reasons, it's not really a name that you were looking at a ton coming into this one. Bit of a surprise there. But these guys, I mean, they won a world championship together with Loud. And it's just really been a question of how long till they can develop this MIVR project into something that can compete towards the top level of the league. And you've got to implement it quickly, right? Every single series giving them an opportunity to win a championship point to lead into that champions call later on in the year. Matches against teams that are, are sort of, you look at crew and MIBR and you're thinking, okay, we can be looking middle of the pack trying to break up higher eventually, but you gotta beat your opposition here. This is a deceptively important match for these two teams in the landscape of the league. That's really the thing. If you're one of these kind of lower mid-level expectation teams, if you can't beat your competition in the pack, then it, it makes you rely on multiple upsets against the top dogs to make playoffs. That it does. B-Main Aggression is the name for crew. Three rounds in a row. MIBR are aware of this after the last round. Melzer, the one-way smoke, sprinting up forward. But MIBR are going to be quick to react into mad, mid and see the rotations too. You've also got crew pivoting out of B, expecting that top mid fight to come in. It could end up being a bloodbath in top mid if MIBR continue pushing for that space, but may look for that B-Main reclear instead. Here comes the reclear. JZZ flash primed. And they have to activate now, because FRZ's fallen into mid. But with that advantage, Melzer doesn't want to oversay his welcome too much here. What does he want to do? Does he want to TP out? Does he want to play for it? They've got the numbers, so he could have fallen back, but likes his odds. He's been great dancing around those close angles. So that means MIBR is grasping with straws to try and find space on this map. They lost mid, they'll work on a reclear. But mid is always going to be hard from top mid. Three Toss players and a fault up. line ready to go on that line. Good luck. And if they go into market, there's a stun ready to go there as well. Here comes the fight. Up through top mid. Gets it primed. But he, he's just switching around on his weapons. Gets a little bit weird in RGL. Gets two kills as a result. However, Klaus on the trade brings back the advantage. And so kick Sky again alone. You see it one more time there. They're just trying to contact into mid without the sky. Now it's all on JZZ. A low player, maybe a chance, but the time um. takes it out completely away from him. Crew once again finished the first half, seven to five. Honestly, a really good recovery there. Out of that second timeout, they deal with those fast hits, then they start to find the solution for these slower rounds. Re-clearing into mid, maintaining space in B main. It's a timeout call, and then three round wins in a row. Crew, I like that mid round calling from them. Very nicely done. They had one play with the, with the utility out, but it's all good in the end. They secure their seventh. And Bazooka not feeling too good about that one. Looks thrilled. But for this halftime, we have Geek Heavy standing by with a special guest. Yes, joining right now, we have MTA, the sixth player of Crew. Now, I gotta ask you, what do you think of Crew's overall performance? We saw them pretty much dominate on Icebox, now on Sunset. ¿Qué opinas de cómo ha jugado Crew este segundo mapa? Eh, lo están jugando bastante agresivo, como es característico de nosotros, así, de tener mucha proactividad. Lo mismo que en el mapa anterior, y bueno, algo que me gusta. Me gusta cómo estamos jugando. He said they're playing, uh, you know, their usual characteristic aggressive style this match. Okay, the, yes, it's been very aggressive. So, next question I have for you, the new addition in Heat. I want to know your thoughts on Heat. 
parece un jugador muy bueno, muy completo, con mucha mira y obviamente que él tiene mucha experiencia, que se le nota que tiene todo para performar bien en el stage y me cae súper bien. He said he's really good, you know, it, you can tell that Heat is very and a very good and experienced player. So, to kind of push this, do, do we want to see this match get pushed to map three? I guess this is my final question. Or do we want to see Crew close things right here? Que si queremos ver el mapa tres o no? O queremos ver que Crew lo cierra aquí? Y a mí me gustaría ver el tercer mapa, pero ya sí que se va a cerrar acá. He would like to close it out here, but you know what? Fast B3. I mean, I think we're all down to see this push the map three if it does get to that, right? 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 Yes! Well, let's keep the crewman show going. I'm gonna toss it right back to the casters. The crewman show. Yep. Nope. <laughs> Extremely loud and correct like buzzer. <laughs> Not allowed. I, I wonder how many people even understand that reference. You're acting like you're like 40. I, I no, I'm not. I was just I, I was wondering. I watched I watched Truman Show for the first time like two months ago. Okay. Yeah. I haven't seen it. I'm on my on my old movie arc right now. But it's like in the zip. Yeah. I must say the word psych. Watching guys. crew play these days is like watching an old movie too. You know, it's just the same thing, on repeat. That's not true. They the have a new comp. They're changing okay, up their okay. style. They're so adaptable. Okay, call And me they're out. on the I precipice. Uh, maybe winning it 2-0 here against Sam Idea. That is very true. I did think MTA being a bit of a traitor there, saying he wouldn't mind going to a third map, but we'll he's forgive him. The show. He like, he's a fan of the content, and we gotta respect that. Love the game. <laughs> we'll see what Crew end up doing here. Cruise Comp is very good at sort of exploding onto sites, the double initiator, that's for sure. Big difference compared to this, uh, to the Sentinels Comp, it's just, you know, the breach instead of a KO. KO can be really nice when you're actually finding out a site yeah. and shutting off that utility, but Breach makes it very hard to play any of the close angles. That fault line, pretty devastating. The, the sites on this map two. are so small. That aftershock, that fault line, they can cover so much space on an execute. Yeah, the meta is play off site and spam your trips. That's your best bet, but not when you're getting blasted, not when you're getting stunned. But when it times out, you can absolutely do that. Exactly what you set up, FRZ. Great stuff on the start. That's gonna be a flood back into the site. Wingman is dead, the lurker is gone. This round has been very well dealt with the start for MIBR. Lot of room to go for a crew to get that spike back. And a brutal cross coming in against them. 30 seconds left. There's just no shot. I would be bored if I was crew. Like, they're holding the crossfire, they're not giving us our ones. We get smoked off, now there's no time. No fun allowed. Nope. Only winning on the mind. No one? Okay. Yeah. One player is watching behind. They're dead. Seven seconds, though. Someone just has to run for the hills, and there's no way this round could get out of hand. Crew will hit some nice shots. But it's a piss around the kills. Don't matter really beyond getting the alt orbs. Yeah, I was gonna say, he getting three kills and a death there, that's four orbs on a pistol you lost? Not I'm bad. Not, I'm not unhappy. Three away. This round, focus on orb maxing. Get him a couple orbs. You could have a round three thrash. Love that. So this was the preview, right? Ultimately, you're playing off your trips, and you're playing sort of off-site to quick flood back in through the smokes. That's the, the pretty much the way you get around the breach is you can't play in any of the natural lines that you want to be playing on an actual site. And instead, you got to be a little bit more mobile, wait that stun out, get back in there quickly. Am I be arguing the site dance George. very nicely in that one? What are you guys? Are you? Oh, story doctor, what's going on? Replay to A main, three players yeah, primed up for it. I love the quick look at your yeah. teammate. They just instantly yeah, got a 10 taken off. Going at the enemy remaining. Wow. Spike down A. Uh, team? See, now going into that yeah, round 15, so, um, he's just one off of the I'm thrash. living in Pune right now. For past six Crew's years got their now. rifles now coming into this one. Six will be. I mean, right. six a, will a pretty interesting six, look over here. Heavy uh, fight into two. shop, a little bit delayed. Wouldn't necessarily expect that, but I like them getting yeah, active on the side of the map away from their cypher. Yeah, even with this single initiator comp, you still do see MIDR go for a lot of those rounds off JZZ where they're going for these fast reclears, setting up for those flash plays. Can still definitely catch you off guard. On the other hand, crew really like 
taken some control into mid here. They're really dizzy. Very easy to reclaim that one. Full mid contain setup in terms of the cypher camera in top mid. You got a tripwire and market as well. So crew would have to do a lot of work to break that out. Yeah, and with this breach, if you get control in mid, your breach has so many different options on stun lines. You can set up your raise into market, well, uh, to wrap one side of spawns, minute. even go back through into B. It, it really unlocks so much variety in the mid round that makes it a lot harder for the defenders to find which sites to rotate. I am speaking from a bit away. They've got four players ready to anticipate this hit onto the A site. That is a great read from them. And potentially getting in front of the no, they can uh, go this heavy fight with the paranoia straight down the same main line. No, can you hear me properly? What? What? They were blind out in two phases. FRZ, the last man standing over on this side, and he falls. This round is lights out. And it's really just the difference of three seconds. seconds Had right. MIBR just decided arbitrarily, let's go for this play three seconds earlier, that okay, paranoia okay. hits four players. Yep. That's a yeah, I lowered the, more off the bat. gameplay audio Actually, for a bit. Sometimes the timing game is all it comes down to. Yeah. Because my mic is over here and it's on a over there and it's on a stack. It cannot come over here. Well, that's rude. Or just get bullied by breach yourself. Okay. Oh, they were just feeding for the entire. Wait, Klaus. They won that round. Klaus didn't have to use any of his flashes. He still had one left over after using that one to hunt down the final player. I mean, they, they didn't use their util to set anything up. They just caught a great timing. Klaus killed two with his gun. Usually, I mean, it is Valorant. Generally, that's how that yeah, happens. You, you, Abilities don't kill famously. Famously. Crew know they got a little bit lucky with that timing. See the you play BGM? I, I used to play, but my phone cannot handle BGM right now. It's this way too old and way too rusty and way too bad. If you can see, back over into B. like, now, crew haven't really tested screen, you can see the screen coming the, out. The majority of the cypher has been the last couple of rounds outside of the pistol. The screen has been torn a out. Cam Not a good phone anymore. Like, I love the cam, I love my phone, but yeah, it's way old now. That's a big information gather. Kesnet only one off his ultimate here. Did I just hear a satchel fat finger that? I think so. It'd be unfortunate if he gets the ult later in this round, only having the single satchel. Especially with the breach. So a lot of times you want that raise to be able to double dive into market, go in really fast. So they can take things a little slower. But with how passive MIBR is with their mid control, oh yeah, crew can just contact into this space, and now they'll split with the thrash coming through mi main. Stun doesn't connect onto anyone. MMB are just going to try and play flood here. They've got three players back in Boba for MIBR, but notice how Koo have left a player in market. Shai's got that positioning, that's so important in the post plant. Kazin is fighting so heavily towards spawn. If he gets a kill, he gets his ult. That could be make or break. Focus on market. Here comes the flood from MIBR. The first kill on the Shai untraded, but, but the second started. layer of this thrash has now been activated. Into spawn oh, it goes. No it's detainment. Look, it's Great up. shutdown for MIBR. Time is ticking and now crew have fallen off to play offsite. The rolling defense in the post plant is so strong. Not much utility to work with to get players off the spike. If they can spam for forever from back here. Just shuts them all down. Four kills in quick Can we get one? Arch gets one more. And we'll see time. No run for the hills. Crew will claim their ninth. Kesnik getting a kill from offsite there was everything. Crew had no post plant utility to fight with, but with that one kill, he unlocks the showstopper and gets the second frag to give him his paint shells back too. He had two things. So much stall comes in. That is awesome. He gets a really just solved their rounds. You see it here. Showstopper, showstopper for the second shell. Nade on the spike. Gorgeous. The LCQ run for crew was built on Kesnitz's raise. The rain is fun, but when you get to watch this man... I cannot, I told you I cannot play my phone is... It is stunning. It's not good. MIBR 
Thank you for the 20 in Jadeja, means a lot. Need to find an answer for men. Thank you for the 20, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Test pushing up on the extremities. Being bunkered five players retaking just from Boba. It's just not going to work. Same time, just playing a judge up close. Maybe can hope for a couple of kills. How much can Mazim get? Oh, he's so blind. He's got the goop on his eyes. He can't see anything. So he's still going to Because they just hopped over his head. It's only one for one. And there's only one hero rifle to work, but this comp, with no flashes for JZZ left, it's really tough to win these retakes, especially with how good crew is with the rolling oh. defense. That's some info left over from a cam late. And now the paranoia will come in towards sight, but has the he position the right angle to take these duels. He'll keep fracking no, towards just... back sight. Will his teammates join him? And suddenly it's falling apart. One v one for him. He has a molly. Mosh will delay. He will jump up and wrap around the pillar. But RGL's trying to do the same. Time ticking. RGL needs to get this halfway, but he takes the fight instead. And he wins it. He just about saves that round. And he's giving it to his former teammates on the <laughs> stage. New rule, same star. Okay, game in PC or not? Uh, I'm a PC streamer, bro. Uh, I, the only game I play on my phone is uh, uh, COC right now. That's the only game I can run on my phone right now. And some Candy Crush and stuff, that's all. The main games I play is on my PC. But it's fighting like that, fighting so far forward early in rounds that slows down a retake. When you threaten, you've got players up forward like that. Makes it a lot harder for MIBR to flood out fast. This, I think I'm him, but I think, uh, this camera sees a player coming on in. Showstopper can't quite find uh, the kill. That's my... tragic for MIBR. No connection off the rocket, and immediately crew's gonna reclear. I like that they're walking back in. You can see MIBR anticipating, hey, maybe it's it's a rotate back towards A. There was a camera look the whole time. That's why they didn't need to use any util to retake this space. Yep. Very early placed into the round. Three players already back sight from MIBR, okay. though. They are absolutely ready for this. Second thrash of the half. Declaring back sight, it detains onto one. Now only two players to survive, and just an overwhelming amount of util. Kesnan adjusts for the second there. It's lovely stuff. Shy's got one of his own trades favorable towards crew. Oh, it's a step up. Oh, does that dodge that? The round cool. cuts it down to even odds. It's a two on two now. There's no smokes from MIPR to be able to block off B main. Artisan has an aid. He'll combo it with the Molly, but it I'll misses. See, uh... He keeps his Last position, but Mazin finds a kill onto Melzer. Pete for the 1v2. A clutch against his former squad. And he's already gotten the first kill, the second on the swing. A jingle! The other side! Heat gets it done! How much uh, cost to build your PC? Overall, until now, uh, the PC I started with, I've been upgrading it time to time. Uh, it's been like almost three, uh, three years for my PC now. Yeah, it's been three the years for my PC, so, so I've been upgrading it a little by little, uh, year by year, or uh, not everything, every year. So, I've been upgrading it a little by year, year by year, or not everything, every year. So, I started my PC with 60,000, my CPU was 60,000, and my monitor was twin. So, it costed me 72,000, and they're gonna have sheriffs. Then I got a GPU and around my PC cost around right now. The cost I win for like one lakh five, one lakh ten thousand. But now it's obviously price, you know, value down a lot. So it's like if you try to with the same system I have at the moment, it will cost you like seventy thousand max. Seventy thousand max. You are trying to build the same system like I have. To be out on site, they had three players there. Unfortunately, you know, one guy is caught off by the thrash, ends up getting, you know, taken down. It was a good entry from Kesnet. But the fights just have not been going their way. And sometimes that happens, but you have to lock back in. You have to get ready for it. It's gonna come with a huge stack over towards this A side. I mean, FRZ is completely on his own on B.
See, if you want to stream and stuff, you don't need a PC. But if you are, if you want to play casually and you know just to play for yourself, PS5 is a great choice as well. But yeah, if you want to stream or stuff and do other things, you need to be playing. You need a PC for that. They're still in the setup. Towards elbow. Not so easy for crew to get through here. There's still a paranoia for RGL. And I think crew are gonna sniff this one out. Yeah, they, they haven't been able to take the space. They don't have the fault line anymore. At least not for another 15, 20 seconds. So yeah, let's go challenge top mid. Let's see what the deal is with that space. I love how often the team is willing to go through these splits oh, through just spawn. Backed up. The timing hey. is so brutal for MIDR. And JCC's caught too. Kesnet, I, I mean, it's an anti-eco, man. Don't even have to pop the showstopper, but he's feeling it. Exactly He'll keep fighting right. deeper into this site, and the rocket misses out, but the paranoia is good. Followed up on the site for utility. The round's just perfect. I mean, yeah. They wanted the match point, they got it. Get faked out. Don't walk into that stack over towards A. And Kesnet has a round. Right. The first kill, very good. But he hears that sky rotating off, and that's why he goes to the single satchel into freeze. Because every other raise player, you're expecting them to satchel and keep on sprinting. But he knows that top mid player is going to swing back into him. That was the choice he made in that round that was so pretty on the entry. Flawless is a good perfect. Perfect. But in which language? Which language is the language? Okay, good night. Bye bye, good night. Thank you so much for dropping by. Today's bro. Thank you. Bye bye. It's been tough. Like, all you really have to fight there is a flash. The Omen Paranoia is not good. Don't forget to like and sub before going, if you would. I would like my channel a lot. And with this sky pick, already one of those flashes is gone. And the main idea in mid is off of that camera. If a player is seen, then you've got out of market that Ray is ready to fight forward. Artisan could be the hero to step out into mid and look for the fight. FRZ. We know someone's there, and we know it's the Cypher that's usually softer. I didn't see Artisan was actually boosted up on top of Ticket. So no chance to peek out into mid. Whew. Big shot there for Jay Z. Feels like the first time in ages MIBR have an opener. And spike seen as well, so the rotates can come in now. FRZ is going to group with his teammates on site. Rolling Thunder still available. If they play too heavily on the site, they can get punished. I think RGL realizes that he'll retreat to play Flood instead. Yep. They know they've got the Seekers to guide them into site. There goes the Rolling Thunder. Satchel in from Kesnet. Left. And the plant goes down. TP up to play the high low between Melzer and Kesnet too. This is going to be tough to break back in. JCZ has one flash. RGL of Paranoia. Those Whoa. are the tools to get back in. It's a fight instead ahead from Shy. 3v5 to stay alive. FRC another. Kesnet oh, that made. Blinded and slanted, taken down. Melzer 1v5. And he's gone too. MIBR kind of dismantling him there. Nice shot from JZZ, getting active. It, it kind of reminds me a, a bit of the Icebox game, where once they started taking more forward contacty lines, they were just kind of owning in a lot of the duels they went for. JZZ, you know we had a couple of great rounds earlier in the first half. So go for another one. Don't just rest on your back and wait to go for that full retake. Go for a little pick earlier. That worked very nicely for him. With the cushion crew has, though, they have time to earn some of these big ultimates again. Only two off that thrash for Heat. And they're keeping the pace high. Dizzy clears through that window towards elbow. JZZ might look for a little peek from shop, though. That's what I'm expecting. Forced off the line with the flash, but he can get back on there. Knows they haven't pushed all the way up because of that Cypher trip. But we're still very early into the round. Crew are going to freeze a little bit and let the round cook. Think that there could be some kind of alert. JZZ actually just threw a flash into mid. I believe it ended up pinging onto Shy's Lurk. So just that pressure alone makes this A-site softer. Now you'll actually see that JZZ is holding top mid as opposed to into shop. A smoke back towards market, trying to take pressure there. Lurk smoke and actually Shy stepping in off that space. Really making some noise there, going for the pick. Pulling some pressure, but a dog out into mid sees that it's just the Cypher alone. Now crew need to accelerate in towards A. Tripwire broken. Blind.
mine goes up over the top oh, and now the information is starting to be gathered for MIBR. Should be an easy plant, but that's actually no, the can. We can click out of that and try to break it, but the decision is made instead to let the spike go down. Thrash to fight into spawn for crew. But he just doesn't have enough time. The ult has to come back. They'll wait for the second wave of Finn. It's so dangerous to pick this up. He's going to the reclear. He's using the molly to get the thrash. Late round, that'll be available. Now a fast showstopper into the site. Oh, he's good. cleared everyone off, but remember that thrash. They have a piece of util to re-clear here as crew fights towards spawn. The trades are even 3v2. Tap on the spike, RGL alone. The thrash is coming after him. Gonna get it done. A second kill found 1v1. Smoke still up. Time ticking! And he gets it done! From 0 and 10 to 2 and 0. Crew start their season strong with their second win. Is it even possible for Heat to lose a round or he's the last man standing? I think just playing against his former team, man, he is fired up. Like what? Like from 1v1s, 1v2s, 1v3s? Was that three or four clutches in, in the second, second half, half alone? Yeah. You gotta love that. This team is legit. This is a crew ready to contend. They're a fun team to watch as well. Their style is so unique. I love the way Clouds is calling with this team. I think we're getting a lot more variety of looks. It's not just Kesnit lurking anymore. Yeah, and honestly, I think a big difference in this game was how crew reacted in the mid range in both of the in both of the maps. They sort of figured out the slow play, led that a lot. A lot of their heavy stacks ended up working, and they're going to walk away feeling very content with this 2-0 start. After last season, this has got to feel so. Good. Nice one, crew. Well played, guys. अच्छा गेली पे क्यों बहुत बहुत प्यारा गेली आई गेस एंड उनका पहला मैप पे इनका सनसेट पे Visa watch party क्या होता है भाई? What is Visa watch party? This breach gecko comp was pretty interesting. I like the variation of it. Mimi, I'm getting excited. Is this a bad thing? Am I am I getting too excited? No, it's not bad. The croup is real. The croup is real. It's it's time it's it's time to buy into the croupium. It's not even croupium anymore. They are just a legit squad. I think they are. It's crew visa, actually. Oh, yeah. very different this time. <laughs> very different team. All right, well that wraps it up for our first match of the day. But we still have a Verizon post-match interview, and it's Geek Heavy with a guest on the stage. Yes. Woo! What a match, Kesnit. That was amazing. All right. It seems like we were seeing like a almost like a 180 degree turn from what we saw last year from Cruz. So I have to ask you, what have you been working on personally to kind of to kind of lead to this, like this difference, this different crew that we're seeing today? Kesnit, como el equipo de Cruz ha cambiado, ha volteado un 180 desde el año pasado. ¿Qué has cambiado tú? ¿Qué, qué has mejorado tú desde ese tiempo para, para este proceso? Creo que lo, lo más que he cambiado yo son las frustraciones que he tenido y personalmente y nada, creo que lo que nos ha ido sirviendo es que ya no sirve un Kenny de MVP, sirve un Kenny que juega para el compañero. Yeah, no, he's been working on his personal, you know, his personal frustrations during the game and that's really what he's been working on is like the battle within himself. Well, honestly, you don't have to do it alone. You have an entire crew uh, behind you. Uh, pardon the pun. Uh, but you also have Heat. Heat is with you as well. Like, 
feel like you all are quite the amazing duo. So I'm kind of curious, in your opinion, how has Heat integrated uh, into like more of a support role for you? En tu opinión, ¿cómo Heat se ha involucrado en este rol de support entre el equipo? Creo que Heat vino como anillo al dedo y nada, creo que se ha, se ha demostrado el fight power que tiene conmigo y nada, agradecido de tenerlo al lado mío. Yeah, no, he's honestly fit right in and he's really demonstrated this firepower to play alongside Kesnet. All right, my last question for you, uh, Kesnet. Uh, Klaus, now he's back in the IGL driver's seat, back in the IGL role. Now, do you think that was the difference maker for crew? En tu opinión, eh, Klaus estando del IGL, ¿fue eso lo que marcó la diferencia para este equipo? Yo creo que Klaus tiene una lectura muy buena, que nadie se enfocaba en eso, y creo que era lo, el poder que tenía escondido. He says that Klaus has this hidden talent of kind of giving them that like lecture, that speech, that empowering kind of, you know, pep talk. Well, I think, well, the, the, the talents of crew are not hidden at all. Y'all won. This was amazing. Uh, thank, give it up again for crew, everybody. Yes. Now we're going to top things over to a quick break, and then we're going to head over to the analyst desk. Angle got to the Hello, Kike, bye. Long time, no see. ¿Qué se ve? Ah, bye, bye, bye. Good find you. Audio, please. Pinch and rails, got to shoot for that. Is. Opa. Oh, caralho. Só entrar agora, só entrar, só entrar. Ativando o drone. Eu pego, eu pego, eu pego. Deixa aí. Let's fight him, man. Ah, for the Oh, no, they won't be. Fuck, screw me. Memory of the toy, I'll buy a gas, but I can't get any coin at you. Enjoy getting here, but it's important about the year. Localizando. Oh my god, Lily. What's this? No, I'm okay. No charge left. No charge left. What's this? No charge left. No charge left. No charge left. No charges left. Five down, mid. No charges left. One enemy remaining. No, that's a rigid thing. Uh, not a rigid thing, that's a high low thing. And they are see the game. Like, first thing you do is give audio mute. That's a high, that's a high clip. High level clip. Huh? मैंने सिर्फ उसकी सेटिंग्स पे म्यूट करने की वजह से आई दे दे लाइक इग्नोर दे प्ले एंड दे डू दैट नेवर माइंड वो डाउन वो डाउन वो डाउन कि लाइक सामने वाले कुछ नहीं करोगे एंड वो मार जाए अल्टी पे स्वाय 
shot. What? FPS अच्छे, mechanical keyboard है। और क्या कर सकते हैं अपन? ये क्या नाइस? और कौन कौन नाइस है? उधर यो पुलावस उधर है चलो मैं चला सो दे बाय बाय के के गुड नाइट आई आई एम सॉरी गाइस तुम लोग के लिए म्यूट हो बट आई एम गोना सी भाई क्या बात बता रहा है वो थोड़ा चलते हैं फेस कैम पे थोड़ा सा देखता हूं मेरी म्यूट लेट्स वॉच दिस थोड़े बहुत कैसा कर सकते हैं? We can do this and yeah. G fans, for Furia fans, I'm sure they're waiting on bated breath because this is going to be a tall order. Nasr said he wanted a challenge. Well, he certainly did get one with NRG. India rules up. So, your turn. What the hell? What the hell is happening? The series last no, night, you have to throw map two away. Right, it was 13-2, Loud, had, they hadn't Fair. been scrimming, they hadn't been playing together, so you, you kind of get rid of that one. But you look at the first map, you look at Breeze, and you go, okay, they have really cool ideas. I love what they're doing with Demon Worm with Jet. Shocker. I love that Ethan's running Yoru, and I love how they're playing around that. You saw a lot of really cool conditioning, like sending clone down halls and manipulating rotations over yeah. uh, the other side of the map. I love what they're doing, and I think because of that, there's a lot of reason to be excited. Uh, Sunset notwithstanding. I think if you just look at Breeze, you go, yeah, these these guys are the truth. And that was the expectation from the beginning, right? Like, we knew they were going to be good. This yeah. roster on paper, unlike, well, maybe then showed up nah. uh, yesterday. Nah. But this is the roster that you go, yeah, okay, these guys are going to be they the should truth. Pop these, off. these should be world enders. Yeah, yeah. And honestly, they could very well be that case. Even though yeah. they didn't make it to Madrid, I don't think that reflected on the team at all. It was an incredibly competitive tournament, and only two teams were able to go and represent each region, so someone was going to get left out. But for now, though, let's, we'll continue the conversation, but we're going to send it over to Geek Heavy, who's standing by with the Iceman. Yeah, we got the NRG crew walking through right now. Marg right over here. All right, so I got to ask you, who would you give a free sub to? Ethos or Som? I'd probably choose Som. That's my guy. Um, Ethos is good, but uh, yeah, I'd have to choose some. And if I was to choose anybody, it'd probably be Shanks. Oh, really? Okay, why? He's the GOAT. Shanks is literally the GOAT. I don't think anyone could beat that guy, so that's my guy. All right, you heard it here first. Back to you, GB. <laughs> 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 
Artists are walking. It's just, oh man. Well, at least we know now with the NRG people, saw him getting some love here. So ethos in the bin with you. Oh, no sub, no poor, free sub. Poor guy, literally just like we started talking about him today, already gone. That's brutal. <laughs> Hate it for him. All right. Well, let's go ahead and dive into Marv uh, and, and talk a little bit more about him because why? This is a guy who was brought into this team, uh, and, and everyone was like, "This makes so much sense. He, he fits with the old optic core. He's going <laughs> to elevate guys like Ethan and Demon One." There's a lot that Marv brings to the table for NRG. Yeah, absolutely. Last week was easily the best game he's had so far on this NRG team. He was good during kickoff, but most of the time, in the games that they were winning, it honestly just felt like he didn't have to really do anything. Like he was kind of just, he was filling his role, but he never had to be standout because you have the Demon One Ethan duo that's just going to fry. But last week, we got to see the return of the Marv that we were used to seeing back when Optic were winning tournaments internationally yeah placing high internationally uh, you know back whatever that was two years ago at this point yeah i would argue that that was the best marv that we've seen since not not just this year since his entire time on sentinels and further back right like we need to roll back the tape yeah. to get to the last time i saw marv have a performance like that and i think a lot of it was Yes, he's been filling his role. You know, he's been doing what's been asked of him. And again, as you mentioned, you've got Ethan and Demon One who they're going to do their thing. But I think he took agency in the last time that we saw them play up against Odd. And I think that was the big difference maker there. Because I think if you go all the way back to the beginning, Marv made a living off of really aggressive timings and off of just like diving back lines in situations where you wouldn't expect it. Right. And that's what caused so many fits. And we saw him do a bit of that. Uh, last weekend, and we hadn't really seen that for a long time, be it because it just wasn't his play style, be it because it wasn't what the, what the team needed at the time, but he's reverted to that, and I think that's a scary NRG. Yeah. When Marv is back to doing his thing, you know you're gonna, what you're going to get with Demon 1 and Vic and Crashies and those guys, like, that's a terrifying roster. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's really found his place in this game. Uh, you know, we saw glimpses of his lyrics and timings, even on his time on Sen. But he's really got a solidified role for that, and um, the team sets him up for that. He's he's taking these timings, he's getting multi-frags when you might not even expect it, and that's really where he shines. Yeah, it's, it feels like outside of a few minor adjustments that we're seeing, like Ethan, for example, going into the IGO role, it does feel as if everyone here is just able to play a role that they're comfortable in. Yeah. Comfortable energy is scary. And Marv getting out of the IGL role. True. He was doing with Sen. Now he just focused on his own game. Yeah. A yeah. lot of clutches. Like, yeah, the last uh, MVP uh, impact uh, one on the lay round. Yeah, yeah. That, that is certainly going to play a factor here. And I think it goes without saying that yeah. they're just currently stacked back quite a lot against Pudi out today. But it's important to note, too, that this is a squad oh. that has struggled as well. They have struggled to be able to pick up those wins. May 2023, last time they were able to win a B03. And since then, they have found, you know, map wins here and there, Wyatt. But honestly, this is a Fudia that has a tall task ahead of them. We said the same thing about Hunger Thieves. They hadn't won until Ooh, <laughs> since May 2023. Stop. Dude, stop. What, Doug? <laughs> There's no way you're going to stand well, let here me just and try spin to sell this me on really this. bad narrative. Spin the narrative. Let me Go. spin this really false, really terrible narrative. I, listen, I have a little bit, I have some hope in Furia, not to win this game, but I think if they can even keep it close and have a competitive game, a good sign. Because Nosworth was brought in pretty late, I really respect Nosworth as a player a lot, and bringing in a new IGL to revamp this team from where they were at in kickoff, crucial. And last week, MW, pretty bad series, and that's pretty rare for that guy. Yeah. He's, a, he's a freak, so I'm expecting him to be in better form. That's fair. Uh, okay. Sh any, any, and are you contesting this one, Shazam? Um, no, I think that if they show a competitive showing, they should be proud. I think, well, like you said, Nosworth had some great moments in the last week's matchup, and um, hope to see, like, I, I don't see them taking out energy, but hope to see them put up a good fight. Yeah, for sure. I, I, there's certainly, uh, uh, it, it, it will be difficult. Like, there's just no sugarcoating it. But we were saying the same thing yesterday about Leviathan. I mean, everyone here, you guys were just all, not me, but you guys were all <laughs> so negative, you know? So, I mean, it, it, would history repeat itself today again, Doug? I, there's just no way, man. Yeah. I, I, it doesn't even feel like the deck is stacked against them. It feels like they don't have cards to play mm. uh, in this hand. There's just, there's just no way. I think when, again, when you look from top to bottom, when you consider that Nazar is a late addition, who maybe with some time is going to be able to implement a lot of things, maybe. But this may be a little harsh, but it, it, 
Nausler has been handed a couple of ingredients to try yeah. to put together something tasty, but if the ingredients aren't great to begin with, the final product probably isn't going to be great either. And the truth is, as good as Nasra can be, MW, you're right, is a freak. And I, and I love what MW does, and I think he's insane too, but I just don't know that there's enough to stack up here. That's fair. It's completely, it, it makes a lot of sense. And uh, I will say, though, for guys like Nasra, uh, there's just going to be so much work ahead of him here because he's going to have to deal with all the pieces, Wyatt, of NRG at once. And that is so challenging to do an NRG shoot in the way that they shoot. Nosmer has always been a really consistent player, and mm -hmm. way back when on Furia, yeah. he was crucial, I think, in them being one of the breakout Brazilian teams that was showing a lot more team play than the others at the time. That was allowing them to do pretty decent at international events. I'm just, my focus for him is I need him as an IGL to revamp this team because what they were showing in kickoff was really formulaic, super basic. Well, everything was just being invested in MW all the time. One win con wasn't paying off. I just need to see him revamp this team, which, yeah, I mean, listen, I'm putting a, a lot on his shoulders. It's a tall yeah. task, but I, I think that's kind of what you need from him. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I mean, I don't think it's a foreign concept to him. You know, in the interview, he said that he knew that this is a team he could bring value to. Mm -hmm. He knew that it's going to be a challenge. And so I'm sure he knows that it's going to be a work in progress. You know, maybe it's going to take some time to build it, and they might not see results immediately, but seems like he's he's willing to take that job yeah it, it that definitely stands out to me and, and i also kind of got to reflect on you know like crew right like, even though uh like furia had been taken out by crew last week i think it does resemble a little bit of that right a lot of investment into kesnit they were not sure if they were going to be able to like get those wins just putting so much into one person it's kind of the same thing with what happened with nw zero so there certainly is going to be a lot of uh a hope here for nasra but Speaking of NW Zera, he's actually going to be standing by with Geek Heavy to get his thoughts leading into this matchup. Let's take a listen. Good boys right now. Team Furia. Right over here, NW Zera. All right, so I got to ask you, how do you prepare to face off against a duelist like Demon 1? How do you prepare to face off against a duelist like Demon 1? Ah, I confess that I didn't think about it. He's a good player, he's very really good. Só que eu não fico muito com isso na cabeça, sabe? Ele, sei lá, é um bom jogador, a gente está preparado no coletivo, não pensa muito no individual dos outros, e é isso. Yeah, um, we don't think about this a lot. We, um, he's a, a, a good player, uh, but we don't think about other teams as individuals, but also, so we, we, we are prepared to collectively face all teams. So, but he's a very good player. We heard it here first. You don't need no holy water for this demon, one. Back to you, GB. <laughs> Again, just this guy's li he's literally GB two. Yeah, I mean, it's just Akeem, I love you, buddy. <laughs> this is the best. This, this is making my day. I'm having a great time out here. Uh, well, you know what though? We we talked about it. Might as well go ahead and compare the two because we got MW Zera versus Demon One today. And uh, no matter what, this is always going to be an exciting matchup, Shazam, because you got two just fantastic duelists that are going to be going toe to toe against one another today. No, definitely. I mean. We know what to expect out of Demon 1 every single time we watch him play. It's it's going to be flashy. Yeah. It's going to get away with kills that, you know, you don't expect them to. And then MW Zero was like, you know, I remember at the beginning of Valorant, he was, he was hailed as like, you know, the GOAT of Brazilian Valorant. Like, yeah. Um, there was a lot of talk around his name, and so I'm looking forward to this. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the stats that we were seeing behind us were not looking good for MW because they were last week. So if you were to compare, like, kickoff, what was happening there, and some of the off-season tournaments that Fury were participating in, he was going crazy. And... What's been so impressive about him for me is that forever uh, he had been known as pretty much a pure rifle player. Like he would off here and there, but his rifling was so much significantly better. Like he had a nickname that was like translated just like two bullets because everyone was so used to him with a phantom, just immediately dinking everybody twice and getting kills. But his off this year has been outrageous. Like he is looking like one of the top level offers in the game. And that is a new development for his arsenal. And against Demon One, another one of the top offers in the game, if he could show up this week, should be some fireworks. Oh yeah, I think part of the the issue here, for as much as MW has delivered and as good as he's been, as much as he's developed and added additional tools to his repertoire, the problem I think when you think about this matchup is, especially for NRG, Demon One finds a ton of value on his own, but he also is set up so well. Yeah, I that's mean true. the work that Crashies and Ethan do to set Demon One up into really aggressive positions to assist into these kills, it really becomes more of a, a something by committee. Where I don't know that Fury have well, 
Furia don't have those same tools, right? They don't have the same setup prowess that you're getting out of Crashies and Ethan and those guys. So I think, yeah, maybe if you're just isolating the two, even one has a, a lead over MW, but it may not be as big. But when you put all those other factors in, the gap becomes enormous. Yeah, there are so many things that work against Furia in yeah. this in this matchup because of just how drilled this NRG team is. Why, real fast, uh, before we uh, throw to the game here, I mean, are, are we assuming a 2-0 NRG should be able to walk out of this one swimmingly? If they don't, are we concerned? I don't know if I'll necessarily be concerned about NRG. I think hopefully that has more to say about Furia actually making some serious progress and stepping up if they can keep it close. Yeah, I do. But like NRG that. have to win. Yeah, I, I mean, mean it, they're going to win. Makes sense, right? It should be. I mean, NRG look absolutely outstanding. Furia is still a team that is on the build. So, Doug, you're also going NRG 2 0 out of the gate here? Yeah, I think so. I do like what you said. If Furia walks away with a map or a win, this speaks volumes into what Anothra has been able to do for that squad. All right, well, I like where your head's at. Let's go ahead and see how this all plays out. Walkouts are ready to go, so let's go ahead and bring our players to the stage. Riot Games Arena. Vamos receber os times do próximo jogo. E eles vêm furiosos pela vitória. Furia! some noise for their opponents and give a big welcome to NRG! Hold on again, eh? Hold on. Hold on. What do you mean? I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. कौन सा फोन नहीं डालता था क्या मैं shirts out to the crowd winning the fans over with free clothing that's how you got to do it baby you know, every team should come out and do that yeah who doesn't like free stuff yeah i've been in the crowd i can love free stuff man i've been in like my whole career literally all the clothing i'm wearing right now didn't even pay for it uh in any case though <laughs> we got ourselves a great great matchup here for nrg for Fudia. it's going to be a difficult task but if there's one thing that we know about vct america's why it's that no matter what these these games the region it's so close that anything can happen this isn't like out of the realm of possibility but goodness gracious it's going to be a tall as i said before a task for furia to pull off furia didn't have a terrible game against NRG when they met in kickoff it was reasonable <laughs> enough that at the time they they the 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 there might be a little bit something there yeah. and then they kind of just touch. fell off from there and, and went out in kind Make of tragic feeling. fashion but now revamped Nas were in Again, I, I just, I still have a bit of hope because I, the skill from the players on the team is there. So I, listen, I'm clinging on by a thread here, GB. Okay. I'm clinging on by a thread because I'm the number one MW fan of yeah, the last Yeah, dude, I'm an MW fan as well, man. You know, like having chatted with him and, and, and seen also like the amount of work that he puts out into the server, it's hard not to be a fan of the guy. But you do want to see a little bit more from this Fudia roster. Here goes your map layout. You got Split, Breeze, and if necessary, we'll be taking a trip over to Vine. But we get Split and Breeze out of the gate, and I, I won't lie to you guys, that Breeze scares the crap out of me. If you are Fudia, that is going to be a tough one to have to play against, you know, the likes of Demon One on when he's just going to be running rough shot Shazam all over them. No, for sure. Um, even going to split, I remember before they were trying to prioritize the op on Demon One. Yeah. And it wasn't quite working out. And the next time around, they've got him. They had him on the raise, and he looked like a natural. Yeah. Which
which is scary, man. I mean, you don't, this guy could just pretty much float into anything that you need him in that duelist role, and he will find value with that duck. Yeah, yeah, and I think that's what you would expect yeah. from Demon 1, right? I'm really curious to see if they made any adjustments to this, uh, to their comp, because the last time we saw him play split, it was in kickoff, it was against Sentinels, and yeah, Demon 1 uh, looked great, but it didn't really go their way. They so also I'm, ran into Sentinels on split. So. Right, yeah, tough, tough, tough trading, no matter who you are. So I'm super curious to see what it is uh, that they play and how they choose to approach this. I also like that yours. Yeah, Loki. <laughs> Loki, I, I kind of dig that. I, I, I like this setup here. You got the, the Yoru kind of giving K Corp. Oh, okay. Basically. Explain. Wait, old or What's all your work? New, new K Corp. Yeah. Uh, no, not the old K Corp. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, who would be talking about the old K Corp? I'm talking about the new one where they have Yoru. Oh, double oh, duelist wow. on the other side. So you got Demon 1 on the jet and Victor back on the raise, which Victor Rays, I mean, I'm okay with that. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, here we go. Our last match of the day. Sorry about that, Shazam. I'll get you back on the half. We'll go ahead and talk a little bit more about this. And let's jump into the action. Send it over to my boys. You got Vansili and Rib on the call. Thank you, GB. Yeah, we may be boomers, but at the same oh. time, I'm like, I don't remember an old K Corp. I just remember a new K Corp now. Bring this yeah. Yuru for energy, uh, for Fury. But what I love actually for today, Riv, is that both of these teams are playing double duelists. I'm looking for a, a riveting fight at the beginning of this map one split. That's me. Uh, <laughs> lots of action to come into this one. We're not really seeing a lot of the double duelists lately. We're getting the lurk plays, a lot of the sky rays, taking mid control, but no. Des mentioned already, we get the Yoru in here. You're seeing Martine on Carmine Corp play this. Fnatic also has Durka stretch into this uh, yeah, split that's true, as that's well. True, yeah. So we are seeing it around in other regions right now. Do Energy have the answer for that though? Or Furia rather have the answer for that though. And Energy, are they gonna be able to read it? We'll see how they play. We're expecting energy to go quite fast with the double duelist comp. We know tried and chew as the jet and the rays as they start off towards B. Good A control from Furia is going to allow a strong sight hold to start as that here comes fast. the hit. Definitely fast. Both duelists going in. They can't the rest get in. separated by the snake bite. Victor now being fully flashed, but there's no contact yet from both sides. Heavily damaged auto players of energy as three players now fall. And Crashy moves in and answers back. They get a door kill onto MW0. Dono Black Classics. Ethan surprises Khalil. Till to a two versus one. Up to Ethan having a clutch. The IGL for energy denied by Furia. Who's coming up with a new cop? They also get the first pistol. Furia by hello, what the hell? Fence inside, confirmed by uh, Havoc's push over towards the A alt orb in that first Viper bite that we had coming out, the snake bite rather from Conan, just delaying everything energy wanted to bring behind Demons 1 dash in. So that little stall out gave Furia enough time to yeah, come back. We do have a lot of time. Looks like they'll play that towards it just a two one two here. Better. Energy is going to Push for the same strat, condition that they could go over the team, and see, but they're making sure Marved has an idea of what the lurk could be this time, just for a moment. Pushed off, orb control coming in for Havoc, already onto three with the first few frags in the round there. And it's gonna be quiet for this one. Ramp controls gained. It looks like it's gonna be oh, a to be here, at least a mid hit if they can get a kill there, maybe through vents, but yeah, this is a this is an energy sourcing information around. Energy at the beginning of the round seems like they were really trying to get that orb so that Crash needs to get those seekers up ASAP. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. nice to things off. All mm -hmm. five players of energy now grouped up on middle. I was saying, sorry, and if we hit spring break, you need to all of this util that you have on the Viper fighting top mid that's going in there. Cycling orbs, cycling smokes, getting the snake bites. So, energy getting denied beginning of the round now, mid round on both the entrance of B and middle. They still have energy. You'll have to switch it. Black's pet flashback for Victor here. So, this is the sight hit they want to see. Having Havoc's nade come out, Energy's very happy to have seen that. They go for the B hit again with this lurk from Mars still in mid. I like this though, passing around the orange line. Also, pulling it. Literally did not expect that, but. Was, uh, trying to get the spike down right after with 24 seconds left, but the spike's down and out in the open. Yep. Very difficult for Energy to recuperate this. Long range now. My kill from MW. Energy. Decent second round there for Fury, but some good damage done on the side of the attack. Yeah, Energy did not want to go quietly on that one. They said we're taking a few at least. 
strategy uh, uh, to spike up for that extra cash, but Furia is just too quick to react. Abe and Pertagawa, bye. Lurk there, they rotate through Spunner, possibly the Lurk in mid. They rotate. Kya ho gaya, bye? Vct, Vct mein tap the Balu. Pata hota nahi hai, bas hate karne aa jaate hai yahan. Kya hai? Vct, Vct mein tap the Balu kya hai? Stack together for now. Three times in a row we're starting here. And this time even faster, Vansili. Yeah. What? No time to TP away. First entry, but quickly gets traded out by Khalil. Oh my God. The rest of the cavalry is there for. Abe, Jaren, Malle, Bolna, Khud ko nahi mili watch party to. To ga bet ke le. अरे घंटे बाद ऑफिशियल वॉच पार्टी बोलते भाई जो तेज जैसे बच्चों को नहीं होती है Energy is playing just behind it. Khalil trying to find some sort of timing. Here's a reload just behind him. Peeks back out, and Marv is just on the side to greet him. Energy, they invest in, in the go round, and they score finally. So now does Furia go for uh, B main control or more so mid control, so they can fight from heaven, retake, and not have to be so invested into sight? Because <laughs> this conditioning towards B is definitely going to play on your minds. Good cleanups in sight, finding the necessary frags to finish this one off. And like you said, a few members staying alive, so it's not going to be too bad. Yeah, so Furia still want to put that pressure on to B, making sure they have it. But now Energy switched to A for the first time. Paranoia on ramps. And we go right away again. That timing is incredible. <laughs> Let's are going to continue to get that fight between Victor and MW0 at the beginning. Seeker's coming out on the A site, and that's going to push Nosworth away. Fury will have to play the retake at this point with all the info out of the Seekers. Even making sure here we get a safe plant, giving it over to Victor. Retake slightly split. They're trying to do the 3-1 for screens. Maybe Havoc drops an 8 in sight to disperse, and that's when they start to come out. This is going to be tough, though. Yeah, with that spike plant, you're just going to have to play inside the site. The crossfires are just really good. Good position coming out of energy. Oh, Very good. Pulse plant hold to tie up the game. Cool. Okay. We know Energy's we finding that once they, they got to the bonus round and then this first gun-to-gun -gun round, those basic strats are hitting. That was a B hit for the one for bonus, and this was A ramp. Paranoid, look at the assists on that, too, right? Sky and Omen off the back one there. What is MW Zera supposed to do when you're actually attacked by three people, but it's just going to be Victor bouncing up into your face off of that util. So, yeah, going to have to consider how they play ramp. They do have the flash back up from two now as Furia are playing to the conditioning of energy to now support this ramp control. Got three players there, all with stingers. Showstopper at the ready for energy should they need to use it. But nobody's moving towards the ramp. Everybody's at the entrance. Players are actually split off across. Yes. Both duels and sight. I'm going to play a little bit later. I'm going to stop the cam. I'm going to stop the cam. It's better. I will play a little bit later. The rest of the Fury will pull back and they hold on the top of the ramp. Greeted by Marv. Nice little shot. Now as they push down, great off angle positions everywhere from energy. And now even position for trades. Even the same with teammates. What a nice little wall there on the attack. Just to keep it. She's alive behind the wall. Victor alive behind the wall, rather. Illinois. And Khalil now stuck with nothing. 45 HP. Stinger and the spike plant for energy inside the site. Demon one was the one that kept pushing towards the spawn and gets the pick. Three rounds towards B, three towards A. Energy hasn't even messed with mid that much, except for one Marv lurk. So they, I feel like they can start to mess with a lot of timing here if they want to throw some varied rounds in. Across the map, they go for a default. Furia does look chill to set up with a hard sight towards A as we see this play once again. Almost on the two, but the clone gets hit on that. And uh, uh, Marv watching the flank. Demon one there. The shots are just on right now. He's finding the head of Furia. Low buy across that for armor on the side of Furia here. We'll have to see how this retake works. The way that energy, the speed, they're getting into sights and being able to entrench themselves. It, uh, Furia cannot get in. That lurk from Marv is going to stay towards B this time. 
first, avoiding the flash. There's a swing, first contact, Havoc throwing the pain shell. Still a one versus one against Demon One. The rest of them now falling back. They have a lot of space here for energy for whatever they want to work with, uh, around the map here on yeah. split. As Marv is still there at the entrance of the B main. Now starting to engage towards the entrance of the A site though, energy. Trying to find a perfect timing, trying to punish some mistakes on over peaking coming out of from Surya. But they are also playing very, very safely on the defensive side. Yeah, Marv is saying, who wants this orb and be main? Uh, also giving this. info, yeah. MW Zera is gonna go on a fact finding mission here in the drift. Lot of info. You see a bit of a rotation now coming in from Conan, but they have to keep one B to watch this lurk. That's why Khalil's just gonna stay behind on that B side. You already see the pivot from Conan down towards middle. There's 30 seconds left on the clock. Middle's open. Energy doesn't know it yet, but they are looking left. to clear it together. Still end up being two players inside the B site. A last second hit, pivoting towards this B site. First smoke, attempt of delays, early paranoia, but Marv found the timing. Oh, First wild. blood in the round, Khalil stuck in the back of the site, hides inside the smoke, showstopper out on the defense, 10 seconds left on the clock, showstopper connects onto Marv. Crashy's trying to answer back and tap on the spike, White Swings gets the kill, or it even worked for the save. Will the plant go down? It will successfully, a one versus two, Noswar makes it a I... one. Sky versus Sky. Crash is in the spawn and it's planted for him. Crash is with Crash. Hello. Reposition. Tap the flash, I guess. All Crashes need to do here is to wait it out. Use it all the time in his favor because he also has a flash to work with on the tap of a spike. There's that tap. Crash is still waiting and let's continue to play that time here. Now there's a jiggle. Usko laga flash ka na lai ko. You have to at least get it halfway for Nosworth, so he sticks it. A peek on the reload. Now it's not even at half. You can definitely see here that Crashies can stay cool under the pressure. Crashies. By Nosworth, but energy still gets the round. That that round from energy to be able to walk through the map without finding anyone and there's there's been no mid play from energy we said that before so why would furia play that lower advantage or lower uh, position where you probably won't find the advantage play towards the back energy's hitting the sights fast and energy use this conditioning to waltz through a wide open mid 30 seconds on the round just the map conditioning right now the freedom they're getting to move around is incredible and this Thought it was going to be the lock-in, but Crash, he's just playing too much. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> All right. Fury are going to call the time. Oh, hi, Pranay, bhai. Kya hale? Kaise ho? Not too many ultimates are going to come online, but they need to get a read on What's what up? energy is doing to be able to take the map right now because they're only playing the extremities where they're getting everything they want. That's the thing on different tempos. So what really is the answer at this point? Because you're yeah. still trying to figure it out. They've been death balling so many of these early rounds for energy. And that one round where they default, Mar was able to sneak through. And when they tried to fight aggressively towards A main, they were greeted by both duelists and decide to fall back and play a little bit more passively and turtle inside the site. So yeah. I almost feel at the end here, you're giving a lot of respect. I mean, I guess yeah. Marv, like, extra right. weighted. But I guess yeah. Long time. More time of that. Probably took focus away from B. Months. Sneak in just yeah. after that window. But Do not, not during the window. Window. Just after they felt comfortable. That B. Any of us. No. Subco and friend. Kill the मैंने सब को मैंने पूरी भाई फ्रेंडलीज भरे जाए थी भरे जाए थी एंड ऊपर लाइक भाई ऐड करो ऐड करो एंड आई हैड टू लुक एंड फ्रेंड मेनी पीपल वन बाय वन वन बाय वन आई वाज लाइक फक इट आई एम नॉट एडिंग एनीबॉडी आई जस्ट वन फ्रेंडेड एवरीवन मैं साढ़े तीन सौ फ्रेंडलीज में था एक महीने में दस बार फुल हो जाती थी खाली करने के बावजूद जिनके साथ खेलूंगा उनको रियड करता जाऊंगा all of energy are rotating towards that area so they could scale up together and marv actually just caught the paranoia coming through b main so they know there was pressure gained on B main. They try to take the space. <laughs> this lurk towards mid once again as everybody collects. Hey, right all right so all the right 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 right
Pretty sure here goes Damn. around, so he's cutting to rotate against NW0. Easy one. Now B-side is open, a 1v1 towards the back of the side. Demon one, bhai. Demon one or Gaia Vandal, bhai. He'll just do everything alone. The blue Gaia. On Furia's movement right now aren't even getting them trades, allowing them to anchor each other in these situations. Demon one, waiting for the havoc push they've been seeing, right? Down towards A. Map on the left side was worked. They see the flash coming through from Khalil. Marv can acknowledge that to the other side, and they're they're much more comfortable to hit the site, knowing one, it's a low buy, and a lot of the retake util is gone. All right. I got that. How are you today? Until time, bad channel. Pe. Another look. How are you today? What's going on? Just the full force by the duelists. Was everything going? Oh, sorry, smoke on heaven and screens as they start to hit site. I'm dropped towards the air. <laughs> it's the decoy <laughs> actually that was being thrown out down by MW Zero, but they know that he's close, floating around. There's that dagger Ooh. in the face. He's going to end out the battle in the dome of MW Zero. Back towards the site. Khalil gets denied by Victor. An easy plant now once again for energy. Safe inside the site. Oh my god. Hey, we lead to the webcam. Hey, what are the reaction dictate? What the fuck was that? Conan and Havoc at Bay and also not give him a chance to save those weapons. Insta, I got a cow. Or liquid link quickly can do such with that. Definitely see her to such with that. Trying to hunt him down. The stitch can kill Lala Changana. We see the double duelist composition of now. Conan gets one jet and raise on split here. As much as it's been played, as much as I've seen it around the world, it's still almost a double duelist. Such with that. They j oh, one's up and over, another one coming in through the bottom of the site, and Demon One's gone to the same spot and to get a double kill at elbow both times. So they can just rinse and repeat this strat as long as they're behind each other watching those angles. If Fury can almost do nothing, they're running that double duelist composition to max effect right now for energy. Yeah. And they're trying to fight at least on the early chokes of where the satchels and the dashes be, could be coming from. Mm -hmm. Then it comes down to giving up signs that want to try to fight back in the site before they have a chance, energy that is, to take position and take position within these sites. And they still lose these fights for Fury's side. Left. But the comfort itself is still pretty decent to play this, this full flood retake if you want to, especially with the Yoru in your comp. Yeah. But they're not really following that protocol yet. They haven't tried that. It seems as though they still want to try to fight into the post. What the hell? This time it finally works okay. Hey, what the fuck? How did... How did... How did... Khalil survive? Three players towards the top of the ramp on the defensive side. They dropped the spike. Demon 1 has to try to pick it up. Now spotted by the boom button. Sprays comes across the screens. He's able to escape. Move inside the site and plant. The push around from Crash. He's doing all of this. Gets that first one there onto Khalil. No trade. So he's going to set that paranoia on the top of the A site now. Where Fury has to now look towards A ramp and also towards screens to fight back in the site. And as soon as they're done with that, they have to deal inside a Viper's Pit. Placed down by Marv. Covering hell, covering the entrance. Havoc at least from the top. He's able to take down Crashies. He's trying to fall back and heal Demon 1. Two versus three. One rare opportunity for Furia to get the, fir the third round in the half. Contact play, one on one. Marv outside of the pit as they work together to take the three parts out of Furia. Marv and Demon One. Frag out. Incredible. And they lose half the team on the way half the team. They lose most of the team on the way in. The, uh, that was an awesome round for both teams. For Fury to come out and want to fight ramps this time, catching energy off guard to get that opening kill onto Victor. But that that commitment on the play once it started to crumble from energy is. Victor is still waffles left. For this, this team is the best. Oh, the white kick for us. Your channel is showing. So I get. Oh, sorry, man. Spike, and I don't know how Demon One. Such a team will link it. Can you? It's gonna get an ultimate here coming in from Conan, trying to disrupt the space that the energy hasn't even really played through. Exactly. For energy, it's easy. Demon one on the right side, off kill on the attack, the other one, the other four rather a death ball. Yeah, it's a link but it's me and nigga baba. चाहे कितना भी अच्छा दोस्तों क्योंकि तो more chances है उसका hack हुआ होगा hacker base से भाई
भाई मुझे मेरे चैनल का मेंबरशिप लेने के लिए बोल रहा है भाई यूट्यूब पहले मुझे मेरे चैनल का मेंबरशिप का ऐड दे भाई बेसिकली मैं यूट्यूब को थर्टी परसेंट दू Speaking of the IGL, the calls right now are incredible. I feel like energy is just carrot on a stick right now, baiting out these plays. Okay, we're gonna go to A a lot. We're gonna hit A another two times, three times in a row. This time, just leave Demon One back because they're gonna push and see if there's actually aggression. A boom, first blood coming off of that call, knowing it's either havoc or this time MW Zero to push. The reads are incredible, and it's just making it look that easy here for energy. Furia back onto a bit of a lower buy with the weapons here. Double rockets on both sides, and it's actually NRG that takes the upper hand. Player advantage on their side. They want to temple up here towards this B site. Instantly catches Khalil with the dog, forces the TP back towards hell. Finally, some delay coming through, but this is an easy reset for NRG so far. Watch in the back. Is this going to be a three push? At least one. If they start to split up this team of three here, Khalil still watching sight, and Energy did this the first few rounds. I like the push down though. They want to try to get behind it. Six cents are coming out of Victor. Jump spot, spawning the shots, hearing the shots. Big TP2 to bait some more shots. But the pain shells now are pushing everybody back towards B. We're going to be looking to engage. There's that flash. Does not affect me. Nee, but she is by. She's in mild pain. Fake TP pushes three off to think, make Fury think. Oh, they're re-clearing mid. It might be mid to mid to A through vents. No, it was actually just a smoke heaven and that disruption. My, how my? उसको लगा वो main गया होगा, तो he just altered toward the main. So she's, I mean, just that by. क्या वो करने भाई? क्या link आई थी? The one was flicking a little bit too hard here. Because I may have chat load him. May have value those say the link. Or the last round of the half. Look. What did I tell you? What I told you was what happened with you. And you told me. And look, they walk up they ran this time. That's so normal nowadays. Yeah, Pranay, brother. It's so normal nowadays. It's so normal nowadays. It's so normal nowadays. It's so normal nowadays. हसोगे तो कैसी चलेगा है पाबू। भाई तो ये कौन सा इंटर्न भाई? The guardian as well to come in. This low buy hurting for the last one of the rounds. Definitely see it here. Just waiting for the players to drop down for contact paranoia. Actually, pushes Marv back a little bit. Here's all of these footsteps. We'll get a timing on a backstab again. There's that first one. Marv. With clear key, was caught in a game, but he was way too far. Too late here for him to get anything done. He's trying to. Had some stats, trying to get warmed up for the second half potentially, and there's a nice little shot at least. But at the end of the day, it's energy closing the half, ten to two at the lead. That that half felt like energy had a UAV online <laughs> the whole time. The way they moved, the way they were patient, drawing a bit of the utility out that they didn't want to deal with in sight, and a lot of times that was havoc's nade, and they really don't have to worry about much other than flashes beyond that point, maybe a a snake bite. It just looked like they had the run of the map. Well, ahead of today's match, we spoke with Crashies for his thought on the competition going into stage one. So let's check it out. They actually added a new player going into uh, this season, uh, NZR. And we know a lot about him just because he was on Leviathan and he's a pretty good initiator player, I would say. Um, and he's IGLing actually for that squad now. So they will definitely have like, you know, a little bit of a surprise factor going into it. Um, but I think we're really comfortable playing against, like, just Fury in general. Uh, we have a really good track record against them, so it should be a fun game. Good calls there by Crashies, who was talking about 
you know, maybe new surprises coming in for Nas were joining his roster for Furion. You see it in some novelty. We've seen it in other regions, as they've mentioned on the desk. You've mentioned it here, Riv, but it seems as though it doesn't really phase energy at all. No. They play their own game, and from A to Z, top to bottom. Ethan. They're just winning in, in, in every aspect so far. It depends on how they play this. I wonder, it, it does look like MW Zero is going to want to stick with the team. We leave Conan to the lurk. As you would expect the Viper to be kind of trolling about. But is is this the impact they need? MW Zero is going to have a little bit tougher time reaching the distance. The Havoc is if the gate crash isn't set up. The flashes have to hit way deep into the sword. sword to get that? Ethan Pana? Nay, imagine me to Ethan. When it's like a to get this in order, but it is not impossible to to orchestrate. As Furia gets into the site rather than the jet in the race. And definitely not impossible <laughs> to when you're looking at this <laughs> dual duelist set up down for Furia. Well, Havoc used to be just a demon here as a duelist player going into challengers out in Brazil. Was being scouted out, had potential to join a, or at least in talks in a couple of these partnership teams yeah. and chose Furia here in the end. So going back into a duelist role, maybe the main one to try to bring in the entry for the team. You'll see MW Zero following behind a secondary entry with this double duelist composition. They look pretty good for double duelists on energy on their attack side. Hopefully, Furio has something here. Something left in the tank in this pistol round. Just a very slow first contact, though, waiting for the orb to come up. As soon as it pops, Energy's closing that gap, early paranoia. Players are staying yeah, behind. Are. Now it's TP inside the site, MW0 and Havoc. The two we wanted to create the space, get it done. But we went back and forth. Demon 1 is now solo. Raid boss with a Sheriff. Dash available. Plat going down for Nosler, who also has a flash. Really cool entry into the site. We'll talk about it in a second, because Demon 1. Might take a couple of other seconds before he lands another yeah. shot onto Khalil, but his dash is still up. A smoke just came up for Khalil. If he even feels safe enough to use it and create some space, but right now I feel like Demon One will use it ag anything against him. Khalil understood that, so he's playing back. He's yeah. gotta play the clock. I mean, hearing that sheriff, you don't want to give. And the Make it oh, no shot. Fly! Demon One, what the? Demon One flicks across and manages to come out of that at 100 HP. Oh. Ah, sorry, what demon one, Ethan, jogging my bomb and boost you over the spot. Just get the guardian and the sheriff. So this entry was awesome, right? The race does go in. The crap, the gate crashes right there with the race as Havoc is trying to protect the position, but it did not work at all in this flick. Disgusting. No! Demon one by. Jeez. Oh, they're having fun. And now you know why you will always see a sheriff in the hands of Demon One on pistol round. You ain't seeing a lot of jets, but there's <laughs> impact frags behind that history. Furia call the time out. They're forcing into this one, but energy looks like they're gonna put this one on the game of game point for themselves with how they've been playing and how sure they are about playing behind each other on these retakes. I mean, if I was the coach, I'd be furious as well and call the timeout there after losing that yeah. 1v2 where yeah. the spike was planted yeah. in for you. You've got perfect entries. The game plan at least enter towards the A site worked out in your favor. But again, you're playing against one of the best duelists that we currently have here in Valorant being Demon 1. You can't do any type of mistakes. Yeah, and slight mistake, you saw the result. Well, it was a different wall that we saw from energy the first time. It came from Rafter, from the Rafter area, down through straight <laughs> here. So they were able to really get themselves set up in behind that spot that allowed two or three more kills to come in on site entry. So really, really nicely done by energy for that different setup to catch Furia off guard. Now with that plant, you know you're trailing behind here by nine points. Furia goes for a buy. Stingers and a judge have it with only one satchel in that judge. He's gonna try to. Oh no! Oh. Yeah. Everybody felt it. Face plant. Right into the wall. Decays. Corrodes. Rusts. Dies. 
That's gonna not gonna make things any easier here for the rest of Furia. NW0 trying to make some noise. There's no really TP to meet up with his teammates, so with that initial noise, it's just grouping back up. Trying to play the contact up through the B heavens. And energy, they want to play the man advantage. Air toxins going up. Low take on the site. And they're starting to understand it. The paranoia came through just to clear towards the back of the site to get NW0 back there with that TP. Energy will have a lot of util. 30 seconds left. Flash, paranoia, pain shells. And a dash here already activated by Demon 1. First contact through. One on the rafters. There's that first kill. Spotted a second one of the default boxes. MW0 that was trying to push forward. And we're pinching in from all angles. Energy. They'll get the defuse and already at yes. that point. Yes, bhai. Katham already. 22. What is enough for one side domination on any other way? Furia forcing in, doing everything they can to even do damage to get to the site. But energy is offering up nothing but frags right now. Marv getting that call to play towards Vent. Not even a consideration. And yeah. Even coming out of the timeout, seeing a strategy not work is so deflating when you're trying to put those last efforts into the mix. And energy just shuts them right down. Still a bit to buy, but it's going to be low as energy go into this bonus. Playing a bit of mid control, but back towards A site and B. As the shots ring out from Furia here in this lurk, it's expected. Buddy system now for two players on the top of the A ramp for energy. That's Demon Bye. One. You don't peak to Demon One when we won by. What is that peak though? What was the swing? Why was it one and then the other? It... Yeah. It Marv just seems dropping. like the setup isn't there. They're just pushing everywhere as well for energy. Dropping the lurks here on middle two. I just want to close out the map. Everybody's really holding W at this point, and Fudi is now pinned towards the entrance of even A side at the orb. Finally, NW0 gets spotted. That paranoia allows here for both players to move up from behind. Yeah, Victor misses a couple of shots, but you know the end result. A full roster against NW0, and that will close out the first map. GG. In favor of Energy. NRG are just pushing down on Furia right now, and we actually saw it really come to light at the end there with how they were trying to orchestrate against what Energy had to defend with. Beautiful round. Just speaking the way the energy played that, a lot of times Demon 1, yeah, was able to come up with some frags, but the map movement, the overall IGLing and macro this game almost had energy not seeing Furia until the spike was being planted a lot of these rounds after maybe a first few utility uses in mid or at A. They avoided Furia so well on the attack side. To, to be honest, it almost looks like Ethan was playing Valorant on easy mode. Just like, hey, let's let's four men push towards the site and just get kills, and I'll just win here and do assists, you know? So, Energy really didn't have to show too much on their map, but split against Furia, and they win this first one 13 to 2 on split. Next one coming up will be happening on Breeze. Breeze, I'm to always dictate to you, bye. Open angles. Even on to all open angles. Hey guys, it's Jimmy Lin. In this series, I'm gonna walk you through attack on Pearl. Watch out for the stairs, clear this angle. You're gonna be able to fight this. Look what I've just made. The perfect pearl. Not too bad, but check this <laughs> out. <laughs> Whoa, a true Venus clam. <laughs> Red Bull gives you wings. Jim, let's go
surrounded Doug, by just four aimers uh, I don't know man Ethan went negative blow the project up <laughs> <laughs> it's over there's no hope it's, it's yeah. in shambles it's just a, it's such a luxury yeah. right you can he has got so many tools at his disposal uh, they were playing with a lot of confidence and yeah the double duelist uh, comp on attack will always have to lean on winning the attack side they're gonna play aggressively they're gonna play in your face you've got barbs who's being barbed, he's getting all of these lurk kills that, again, we talked about at the beginning of the match. Like, he's, he's back mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here he is. They do not have the motivation to play the another sun. sensible comp against the one of the most aggressive one day. Going on the road, I swear. Lying out the run. Run. Out on the run. Dangerous, but it's so far. Running, running, no. Hold on, don't let go.
Furia because you, you you have now a team that not only has the confidence from a 13-2 slappage on split, but then they're going to be moving forward here to Breeze, and Demon One's going to enjoy the sun in his face quite a bit, I would say. He went 7-0 in first pills last time they saw, last time we saw uh, Energy play in Breeze. Yeah, he's going to do his thing. Uh, I think he, it almost feels a little like... Say, what will you do with your life? You know it's hard to survive. A cigar in my mouth. Maybe guilty but proud. Now I'm an outlaw on the run. Dangerous, but it's so fun. Running, running low. Hold on, don't let go. Running, running low. seeing the same thing out of uh, Fury as well. Um, I'm wondering if they took some notes out of Energy's playbook yeah. and might know, you know, you know the counters, you really understand the comp, you know what's weak and what's strong for yourself. And um, Oh, Doc, you're Forp Sinker too. <laughs> I, I, I have a really hard time when I see things like this happen because, I, I, well, we don't have time to talk about it. I'm, I'm going to, like, go onto a podcast. The rant will, will be insane. They're going to pull me off the stage. We're going to go to one of the many podcasts that exist in Valorant so Doug can have his soapbox about what he's seeing with his eyes. But what we are seeing is a potential 2-0. Can Fudia force a map 3? It is going to be a difficult one. But, hey, anything is possible here at VCT Americas. Let's send it over to your casters one more time. It's fans in real. Thank you, GB. Indeed, I hope that we're going to see a third match. Let's have a bit of fun till I downfall. If you feel like I do right now, don't say you're on the run to the other side. My love. Let's speed on the mouth, that's so important.
वापस पिस्टल तो निकाल लिए वापस गेम छोड़ लें पिस्टल जीते बायराउंड जीते लस्सी निकाल लिए
That's our wall. I don't think they, they didn't put it up. Yeah, they're probably just put it up towards wall at B. Demon one with the help of Crash is just above here. Wait for you to play. I don't think they saw that jump ball. We just see that they're on the first one. Energy can pick me up. Grant is coming there. Hello, catch up, bro. The timing, but Victor's. Oh, my God, the Victor.
top. Now it goes down. Two kills there onto MWZ and Nosler. Khalil was too late for the trade. Crashes in long range right into the cubby in the chest of Khalil, leaving only Havoc alone, right behind by the blade storm of Team in One. And that's now two unanswered round for energy. And we can see how energy's using this Viper wall that splits the site in half with the way they can deny and then replay through it. It's gonna take Furia all that space to get into site. Yeah, they can have it, but how happy are they not knowing what's on the other side, knowing if energy can pop Take flash through with like this you. Guru, boom, and Take find like blind people you. every time. And we saw at the edge Try of the ladder there, the left side the of entering sun. site from the attackers. Yeah, the when that wall went down, you saw the site for Kate Charles Baker, so even more delayed with another one of the costing the egg, exactly. Instantly, like an outlaw on the run, dangerous but it's so far. The site is technically there. Running, running, no. This is like last game in local two maps here. This is a little bit more. Two extra maps here. Uh, Chai is going to come back. How? But I'm happy for Puya. They are trying to make something. But now it's open. Trying to find a timing. Ethan's trying to walk back in. And the Vizier in a four position. You're a mirror match, but it's stolen by Mar. Victor then also onto Khalil. Conan Nosler alone now inside the same side. Ethan. Ethan. Oh, boy, the light fight to the number of the bad and the like of the guy.
I feel like I'm going to get a chai pink box and I'm going to get a chai pink box. This time it's the three tours mid. We've only seen this off the rotation after they hit B. They lose a
expecting him that close off of the mid door. Just trying to break the timing of energy, and Fury is doing a great job of it. Operator now in the hands of MW Zara on the Yoru. <laughs> oh my. Giving Demon One the Vandals and activates the Blades from off that pick. Trying to find more kills. Dash has been activated. Information on two players and a reposition from Marv. Walking across the other end, trying to find his own timing, and he also gets punished. That's information on two players there, because that's Conan and Nas were getting picks. A TP across to help out, and here's a dimensional drift to open up the B site. His spot Victor G comes up. Nas were gets picked. Hunter's Fury coming out now on the defense from Crunchy. That's all he has with the share, but it's good enough for a pick. And the Zero also falls. And the Lord coming in from elbows. Too. I think some of those pieces are coming together as needed, but when MW is doing these moves that you're working, it's, it's, it's easy to understand that this is what you're working to do. Now, Big Fury is a sort of a wild card here, and you can ask him तो बड़ा अच्छा है भाई Thank you. 
members that are ready for the peak. And this retake so clean. Furia won both pistols last time these guys played a kickoff, and they do it again. But can they get the victory here? That's the question. Can they bring it in the third? We already know. Feel the waves cut through me. Hypnotized by the sounds of breathing in. Hold tight. सेव रोम निकल पाई क्या वैसे प्लांट हो गया इथन गेट पिट ऑफ
front of your screen. Demon One gets the headshot onto Conan. Doing down the numbers here on the attempt of a retake. There's that trip broken, that flank attempt coming out from Havoc. A flash through the Viper wall from NW0. Finds a few, gets that backstab from Havoc, but it's a three Allowing the hack to come out and the numbers to come back. Demon Plus that I'm done. Only Nod's right now. Not too much time left. Not too much time left. See, what will you do with your life? You know what I'm saying? I'll survive. A cigar in my mouth. Good God. Good God. Can Kalalet Can Kalalet I need to give her a point with it.
headshots, but they're coming from energy along with the strategies. I can't believe he's peeking it off like that. And still wins he's the fight. To get back. <laughs> and we said that off needed to come online yep. at some point. At that, they play it close, knowing the dimensional drift could be a problem, but still, Furia does have the big chances here to figure out how to shut down energy. Like you know I always want to strike 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 type of peek in yeah it's just how why like you said they can't they're, 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 energy bring it 12 to 8 now 
No, get the this right. Hila sexy ke liye be, but fear ya ya, they played good, comparatively. joining the stream by the way guys Joey thank you so much for joining the stream means a lot see you uh we'll take kal ki stream malap joa sham ki stream hai we'll do some right uh then go for the watch party as usual so click na joe bhi chaga hai sakta hai we'll join for watch party see you thank you for joining in good night